<laughs> What's up, boys? How's it going? We got Gaines in here, Chris, Fnatic. How's it going, fellas? The hardcore dream lives on, baby. The hardcore dream lives on. Sparky6 was murdered. Sparky was murdered. And it was a team effort between the butcher and my own stupidity. Sparky7? We don't talk about Sparky7, boys. That was devastating. That was devastating. It happened off stream. I leveled up a new character to level 30. And then I just... I just killed him. <laughs> I killed off Sparky7. But... We've got Sparky8, lads. We've got Sparky8. Who's level 47. Who can hopefully... Pull off this capstone. And then we'll finally... Finally... Exact our vengeance for what happened in the preseason with our level 47 Necro. What's up, Alan? We got Bruce in here as well. Ooh, Bruce, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. All right, here's a quick overview of what, what the gear is, Bruce. It's not at all fully optimized, but we got this helm, which is nice. It gives us wolves and ravens with a pretty sweet aspect on there. Um, just rare stuff here. Got two bonus landslide here, and this freaking awesome aspect. But it's imprinted, so we're gonna have to find it again. Which, <laughs> probably wasn't the play. But, uh... I don't know. I figured, may as well, tilt all the available odds in our favor for the capstone. So when we have fortify, which is like, almost always, we get two bonus to our earth skills. Just a rare thing here, a rare thing there. Um, this just has, is a high item power for us right now. And same with this one. But we also get our core skills deal bonus damage when we've got Fortify again. And we've got just a couple of high item power rings, but we've got the subterranean aspect on this one, which is like the shiz. And we've got the the shepherd, shepherding aspect on this one. So I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. What's up, Walter and Leo Bermir? What? How's this doing alive? <laughs> I've just been uh, grinding for the past 24 hours, trying to get back to... Because uh, if you don't know, at the end of the last stream, the butcher came, we were like level 45, the butcher came and... He was going to kill me, but like, I, I was just, I just cooked it so hard. Like we had, um, we had a feign death and I didn't use it. Like it was so late and like, we're on mug two of the mug of wine stream and I didn't use it. And then there was scrolls of escape and I didn't use that either. What I did was quit out and that murders you. <laughs> so <laughs> I, just, I just could have easily just popped one of these and everything would have been fine. But instead, I quit out. So it was really... I killed... I killed Sparky6. And then, like, Sparky7... I was like, oh, fuck. I, could, I literally couldn't sleep after that. I slept for, like, 40 minutes. And I was like... Just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I was, like... Trying to grind so hard to get back to where we were. And I got up to level 30. And then just got so complacent. And just died again. Doing a stronghold. I like saw a mechanic and I was like, no, 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 we'll just pop a, um, we'll just pop a bulwark and just stand in the mechanic just to do it more quickly. Just cause I was so impatient and then just got absolutely blown up. So we're up to Sparky 8. We're up to Sparky 8. <laughs> but each death is a lesson, lads. Each death is a lesson. So we gotta, we gotta, um, we gotta go slow in the capstone. We don't want to be hasty little hobbits because honestly, if we die, then... I, I can't do it anymore, you know? <laughs> if we die, <laughs> we're just going straight back to Diablo 2. So, <laughs> I know that 50% of you are going to be cheering for the death. <laughs> um, so you grinded off stream to 47? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I haven't slept much. But it was my own fault we lost the last one, so I owed it to you guys. 
And I didn't want to stream like the start again because that's just like boring because like you already just saw all that stuff. Yeah. That's a big rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but both both of the previous deaths were me just being an idiot, you know, like just me being so dumb, um, which is pretty on brand. All right, so feign death. We've only got one of those because I'm I'm low on beast bones, and I think we pro pop this one just extra armor. All right, let's go, boys. So these guys should be three levels above us, but. This is the exact level that our necromancer died, so it felt poetic to do it at this level. Yeah, level 50. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? Animagus. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. <clears throat> From the Reverend Knights. I remember with the necro, like... In one attempt, we got right up to the end boss, but then peeled out of that boss. Sparky, <laughs> here we come. <laughs> hey, we can't lose. It's all about mentality. Because it's really a win-win situation. Because if we die, then next stream will just be straight back to Diablo 2. So, like, that's a win. And then if we don't die, then the, uh, the dream lives on. Then the dream lives on. And we can try and beat um, Elias, which is the ultimate. Oh, fuck, focus. Is the ultimate goal of this character is to beat Elias. So the next capstone. But <laughs> let's try and get through this one first. Oh my god, I need to move my mic because it's covering. I can't see my skills. Straight up handicapping ourselves. Okay. One down. Okay, what can I do with this? I feel like it's too high. I put it on like a little towel so you don't hear um hear as much like banging against the desk. I should really just get a stand. Okay. That should be better maybe. There we go. That's better. I think. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. There we go. What's up, Pally? Welcome, man. Just got home in time for a Schmuck stream. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a short stream today, Pally. It's gonna be short, but hopefully sweet. We just gotta complete this vengeance arc. Best of luck. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. I need it. <laughs> I certainly need it. Oh, fuck. God damn. I gotta focus. I really gotta dial in. Just emotionally, I couldn't handle losing another druid. Okay, we need CDs there. We just clear, clear the ads. We'll just clear the ads. Oh! Hate that. Okay, two down, baby. Two down. Nice. Three more. And we've only burnt through six out of nine of our pots. Druid harder than Barb at this level? Nah, Druid's actually really strong. Druid's actually really, really strong. And really good for hardcore. It's really safe. There's like heaps of fortifier generation. It's it's just that I'm I'm really bad. That's that's all it is. <laughs> but probably I don't I I think Druid would probably be the best hardcore class. Unless there's something that I'm I'm missing. Oh, just walked into the on-death thing. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. OK, 
Okay, here's the third one. We need to make sure we always basic because that um that gives us more DR. So I need to make sure I keep using basic attacks. Okay, nice. Just two more and that's phase one down. Let's get rid of these ads. Uh yeah, yeah, I spike you got this go go. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. Also, is it, also, thanks for tuning in, guys. It's lovely having you here. Blood Necro might compare also. Yeah. <laughs> Although, funny you mentioned that. <laughs> My last level 47 hardcore character was a Blood Necro. <laughs> and that's the character we're, um, we're redeeming right now. Because that, um, in the preseason, died in this very dungeon. But yet again, a death caused by my own stupidity. Nice, one one more. And then that's phase one down. We're kind of like a little bit on the clock because the feign death only lasts for 30 minutes and I only have one. But surely we get it done within 30 minutes. Like, it would be pretty outrageous if we didn't. Okay, what I think we should do, I think we should clear these ads, and then we'll focus on the big boy. Okay. Yeah, we just polish off the ads. Clear the masses. There we go. Much safer that way. Okay, first phase down, boys. Ooh, first phase down. Beautiful. Okay, we just gotta deposit into the urn. Deposit the Animagus, that is. Okay, let's go. Wait. What the hell? Okay, I guess we just clear this guy. Ooh, just ate that, just ate that too. Nice. In real life or in game, yeah. <laughs> it's always so risky when you're like, <laughs> make a sus joke like that. <laughs> Because, like, sometimes it, like, it's clearly a sus joke, and then sometimes it's just a sus, you know? <laughs> I feel like that one was 50-50. Shmuck -50. loves depositing. We o I've only found one of the, um, one of the good malignant gems this, on this playthrough. And it, like, wasn't at all good for us. Like, in the first, on Sparky 6, we had such a good one. Like, one that was rotating through all of these different, all of these different buffs. Oh, it's just a regular one. Alright, let's go. Man, you're really good luck. Just wanted to say thanks. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, watching your previous video while grinding for high runes and found a Zod and a bear in cows? Bro! Congrats, man. That's huge. Man, finding a Zod rune. That is, that is awesome. Congrats, dude. And a bear rune, too. What build are you running? It's like this, um, I'm sure there's heaps of build guides on it now, but it's kind of like this minion landslide hybrid. 
um, that like heavily utilizes one of the seasonal uh, aspects, the um, subterranean aspect. So the poison creeper casts um, makes a landslide like that around you. Yeah, it's really it's really good at least for in the playthrough. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure if like in the end game it's it's as good like when you're pushing nightmare dungeons, but it's really good build build for the playthrough, and it's really easy to get going. You don't you don't need to find anything to get it going. <clears throat> Yeah, so the subterranean aspect, you can just get as a seasonal reward. We have no potions. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. There's one on the ground. Question is, if we teleport out of here to, do, like, restock on potions, does that ruin our progress? I guess we can find out. I'll just finish this guy first. Wait, wait, wait. I'm being a hasty hobbit. I'm being such a hasty hobbit right now. Just TB. <laughs> Just stock up on pots. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this is literally how seven of the other Sparkies died. <laughs> Learn. <laughs> um, first time tuning in. Welcome, Chris. Welcome to the stream, man. Lovely having you here, dude. There we go. So in the preseason, when you would teleport out like that, it would reset the dungeon, which I think was a glitch, or maybe it was just glitched out for me. So hopefully that doesn't happen now. Yeah, okay, we're good. Yeah. All right, let's go here. Man, that guy does so much damage. I think we just get rid of these bros first and then we'll, and then we'll pick him up when he's solo. That's just a normal elite too. I think he's just a really bad one for us. Just those poison on the ground effects. It's just so brutal for melee characters, isn't it? There we go, finally. Okay. Travel to the High Council. Let's go, baby. I'll be fine. <laughs> Sparky 257. <laughs> I'm so... Like, in in video games, but also in life, I... One of my worst traits is... Like, I feel like I need to make the same mistake over and over again in order to get the message through my, my thick skull. Like, I wish... I wish I was someone that could, like, just make one mistake and then learn from it. Or even better, just learn from other people's mistakes. But I'm like so, such a Neanderthal. It's like, I need to make the same mistake like eight times and then finally it gets through my thick skull. Good thing we're on Sparky 8. <laughs> Wait, no, we'd want to be on Sparky 9. <laughs> Oh, damn, boy. Hits hard. Um, here we go again, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We got it this time, though, Yennefer. We got it this time. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so this is the first boss, right? But then there'll be another area after this. Okay, we gotta dial it in. We gotta dial it in. Okay, 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 okay. I think we probably want to kill these guys first, right? These, like, guys with the staffs. Just, that's just basic video game logic. Okay, one down. You next. We've still got nine pods. Eight pods. You can die. You're pretty low. Ooh. Oh, they hit, they respawn each other. 
Oh no! Okay, that's fine. We'll just kill them all. Have you guys seen that show Spartacus? How his wife's like, kill them all. <laughs> Such a good show. I've watched Spartacus like three times. Like the full way through three times. Wait. They keep respawning. Oh my god. Hey, we got Matt in here. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another bungling stream. My favorite thing about the druid, fortified druid, is you can just tank every single, um, every single mechanic. Don't have to dodge a single one. Oh! Right on cue! Okay, last guy left, finally. Nice! Phase one down, baby! Phase one down. My lord, I made that difficult for us. <clears throat> Yikes! <laughs> what happened in the last stream? Did you die? I did die. Yeah. Yeah. It was a it was a joint effort between the butcher and me just murdering ourselves. Yeah. So the butcher attacked, and then instead of popping feign death, which is here, somewhere, instead of popping feign death, and then instead of using a scroll of escape, I quit out, which leaves you in the dungeon. Oh, and um, and then when we logged back in again, it was like, oh, your character's dead. So it was so dumb. It was so dumb. But I kind of deserved it, like drinking mugs of wine and playing hardcore. It's, it's, it's a risky combo. All right, what are we gonna do here? Just slay all enemies. Easy peasy. Nice, 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 nice. I uh, lost your 67 druid on season in world tier 4. Oh, that's brutal, man. Level 67. When the router was accidentally unplugged by the girlfriend doing laundry. No! Yeah, need a, a break for a while before resuming. I completely, completely understand, dude. Like, if we lost this druid, then I, I would, I would need a break as well for sure. Um, and this is only level forty-seven. Yeah, yeah. I love that girlfriend accidentally unplugged it. <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll have to watch Made in Chelsea together. You know. <laughs> New season of Too Hot to Handle coincidentally came out last week. <laughs> that that fucking sucks though. <clears throat> At least all of my deaths have been like, oh, that's just me being an idiot, you know? It's not like a DC or some bullshit mechanic. You thought the devs were going to say use hardcore butcher fights as their reasoning why they increase the leave dungeon time from three to five seconds? Yeah, their answer to that was pretty. F <laughs> their answer to that was shocking, wasn't it? It wasn't an answer. It was just like they had. It's like they had nothing. It's like they had nothing prepared for that one, you know. And it was just off the cuff. Um, but it's just like scroll of escape. So I used a scroll of escape for the first time today. 
I'd never clicked one before. And I thought it would be like a TP, but it's instant. It's, it's like, it happens instantly. Which made me feel like such an idiot. <laughs> oh, Pally, Pally, man. Thank you, dude. Six months, dude. You got an Istrune. Oh, Pally! <laughs> okay, <laughs> got a Dalian. But it's like... It, it's, it's just like, why does... Why does quitting out kill you? Or DCs kill you when scroll of escape is instant? You know? It's just so weird. such a weird design. It's like not friendly design. Okay. Brutal ma malignant invoker. Okay, one thing we need to be conscious of here, Pally, is that we only have two potions left. Um, that's why I just used one to heal 10% of my health. Okay, we'll just poison three for that. Three, great. Why don't we f swing it around this way? <clears throat> Go to town? Oh yeah, true. We could just go to town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just such an impatient hardcore player. It's kind of like <laughs> I'll only go to town when I have zero potions left. I'll only go when it's too, when it's too late. I just I feel like some people some people are born for the hardcore lifestyle and just some people just aren't. And I'm I'm the latter for sure. I'm like way too impatient for that. Okay, let's wait for the creeper. There it is. these guys these inquisitors are so annoying did you reach 47 yesterday alone yeah yeah so i after the last stream where um we lost the last hardcore character at like level 45 or something i like i went to bed and then i woke up like 40 40 minutes later and i, I just couldn't sleep you know because I, I was just thinking about it i was just like oh man fuck oh you know and so like right Right then, I started working on a new character to get back to where we were. And then I got up to level 30. And then I was doing a stronghold. I was doing the boss from a stronghold. It was, it was like 35, actually. And I was doing a boss from a stronghold. And he had this big circular mechanic around him. And I was just so tired and, like, so kind of, like, impatient, like, trying to get back. Like, I clearly saw the mechanic and had so much time to move out. And I was just like, nah, fuck it. I'll just pop a bulwark and I'll just keep face tanking him and then he just blew me up so like after that I was like oh my god I just killed two hardcore characters so that was this time last night and then um and so like within the, in the end bit of last night and then all today I, I got this guy up to 47 yeah it's been a journey <laughs> it's been a journey <laughs> But I just couldn't, I just couldn't leave it with such an unsatisfying ending, you know? Bo, remember for two months. Thank you, man. Oh, first Grissom's, first Nightwings, and first Immortal King's armor. Oh, you gotta tell me what the, um, the Griffins and the Night Nightwings rolled, dude. Congratulations, that's a massive week. That's massive. I still remember my first Griffins was from, um, was from Bale. And my first Nightwings was from the cow level. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> infantry. <laughs> Got a perfect D-Web infantry, but no Immortal Kings armor. All right, 12 bros remaining. And we're on the clock. Oh, we're on the clock because our feign death is going to run out. Eep. 
I popped it too soon. It would have definitely been better to uh, make sure we had it for the, the boss of this stage. Because I feel like that's the real pain point. Because I don't know the boss's moves at all. That's alright. We'll, we'll wing it. We'll work it out on the fly. On the fly. <laughs> I don't, what could possibly go wrong? Did you face the butcher yet? Not on this character. Not on this guy. Um, but on the last... On Sparky 6 we did. Yeah. What's Fain Death? Is it a hardcore only thing? Yeah, it's... It's uh, this here. So it's an elixir. Um, you escape death by becoming invulnerable. Um, but it only happens once. <clears throat> and it like puts you back onto like 30% health or something. So we've got that probably for the next like four minutes. All right, boys, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Hocus Pocus. I went in with five pods. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I go back to town? Oh, no, no. Okay, 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 it's done. It's done. It's done. We just... Okay, okay, we just gotta, we just gotta work with it. We just gotta work with it, boys. Here we are. Okay, outsmart outsmarted by my stupidity yet again. Okay, let's go, get out. Oh my god. Three pots, but that's fine, that's fine. Almost phase one down. But it's phase three that's really hard, because there's like so much happening. There's so much happening in phase three. Okay. Stick him, lads. Get him, boys. Yes! Got the stags, got the stags. Okay, last phase, last phase. Last phase, six pots. Let's go, baby. And we still got the feign death. Come on! Do this for all the sparkies that came before you. Oh, remember their deeds of valor. Get out of there. Okay. Getting close. Four pots left. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Sparky 8! Victorious! God, I made that so much harder than it needed to be. And this wasn't that hard at all. Oh my god. That's so embarrassing for literally every other character that's died. But alas, we got there. We got there. Don't want to undermine Spiky 8's achievements. And let's see what we've got to show for it. Um, when you use a shape-shifting skill that changes your form, we gain life or fortify. But it's 590. <clears throat> it's weird. You know what's weird? How this boss doesn't drop you sacred items. That's kind of weird. Because it's like, oh, you just unlocked... World tier 3, you know? Anyway. 586. Dur duration of Grizzly Rage is increased by 5 seconds. Max roll. Huge. Sick. Alright. I guess now we just, um... Now we just, uh, gear up on Sacred, shall we, boys? It's not gonna be a super long stream today. Um, in fact, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty short one. Because I wanna go to the gym afterwards. Um, but let's just get, uh, decked up on sacreds. <clears throat> Great success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm here all of my life. There we go. The Griffins was 1912. Really good roll. The 19 is amazing on, on Griffins. Uh, and Nightwings was a perfect 15. <laughs> Huge, man. 
Huge drops bow. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. All right, now this little bit here, what we're about to do is literally, I'm gonna get rid of actually all of this because we're about to get sacreds for everything. This is literally the most satisfying bit in all of Diablo 4, I think. The jump between um, world tiers. <clears throat> because like in like Diablo 2, like classic <laughs> schmuck talking about Diablo 2. <laughs> You get, like, such beautiful, like, massive power jumps, right? Along the way. Like, when you find a first Shaco. But in, in Diablo 4, it's it's a, it's more, it's a little bit more like, oop, massive power jump when you get the Sacreds equipped. And then, oop, massive for Ancestral. And then it kind of flatlines a bit. But this is the satisfying bit. We're finally here. Uh, what should we do? Oh, level 55 plus? Is there hell tides or something? What? Why don't we just go kill normal enemies? Why don't we just go kill normal enemies? Actually, nah, let's do that dungeon. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. So they are, they're only going to be eight levels above us. Tree of Whispers to get the first Nightmare Sigil. Oh... I don't have a quest for it. Or do we have to like get 10, 10 sigils? Yeah, let's do, let's do whispers. Let's do whispers. So this is actually gonna be, yeah, <laughs> yeah, butcher hunting. <laughs> yeah, us hunting the butcher. <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. Um, okay. So, this is going to be harder than the capstone, because the capstone was only three above, this is eight above. But, we'll be upgrading our gear on the fly. Because it'll be just such a big power jump. Okay. All we have to do is not die. This is the critical period. <clears throat> Enemies eight levels above, and we still have our tier two gear. So this really is the critical period. And we have no feign death. But we don't, we don't need it anyway. Oh, fuck that. Not that guy. That guy's too much. Alright. Yo, Stoxy. Good morning, man. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> um, there's a legion in six minutes oh, that would be the smart thing to do just like leech a legion but sometimes the dumb thing to do is more fun and what we were about to do is very dumb elixir true yeah let's do this one extra armor and we gotta we gotta get that muscle memory down. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go, wolves. Um Hello? Oh there they are. Oh, That did so much damage. That was just a normal enemy. But, 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 we didn't have Fortify. And I also caught it with my face. Come on. Give me a rare. Come on, dude. Give me a rare. Ooh, some pants. Oh, we can't even use it! Oh, we gotta be 48. Oh, that's not even sacred. What the frick? What level do you need to be to wear sacred? Oh, this is such a bad idea. But we're here now. 
The Whispers would be really nice. The Whispers would be really useful. Shield. I still think it's so silly that we can't use shields. Okay, these guys? I'm really scared of these guys. How does the scroll work? You have have it cast from in inventory. Uh, it just like it just like yeets you out of the dungeon immediately. Um, you can put it on your wheel as well, which would be the way faster thing to do. Um, but I, I just can't be bothered. Yeah, that's what I should have done with Sparky Six. <laughs> but if that happened, then we wouldn't learn the lesson. We wouldn't learn the lessons from uh, subsequent Sparkies, so... Everything happens for a reason, right? Right? Okay, that's the first seal. We just gotta break it. Ooh. Okay, seal down. Now we just got the elite. It's so much more nerve-wracking without a feign death there. Stick him, lads. Get him, boys. And we only have one more potion. Nice. Yes, first sacred. What level do we have to be? Oh! Okay, that makes no sense. We can put this on, but we can't put this on. All right, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Immaculate design. <laughs> Immaculate. All right, we can put on sacreds, but we can't put on the regular items at Trump. <laughs> that must have been an oversight, because I think they just recently changed the level requirements or something. But, you know, <laughs> no one tell them. No one tell them at least for the next 20 minutes, because uh, we need to capitalize. <clears throat> okay, a lot of bros here. A lot of bros. Let's just peel out, get some pick-offs. Okay, several, several unique monsters there. Oh man, ballers are so scary. And the corpse explosion effect is so scary. Oh man, below 50% health there. Oh my god. Okay, good pick off. Just wait for a CD. Oh, oh, oh! No <laughs> Fuck this! Fuck this! Fuck that! Fuck that! Let's go to the Legion! Let's go to the Legion! Oh, shit! No, 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 no. I can't take it anymore. Not again. Not again. <laughs> It's too soon. That was so dumb. I just ran in there. Wait, let's go to Legion. Let's, uh, let's just, um... Oh, no. We would have we missed it. We would have missed it. Wait, let's just make sure. Hit 50 for Paragon before tier 3. I know, I definitely should do that. That would be the smart thing to do. Um, but we're just not about that smart lifestyle here. 
Let's see if we can uh, piggyback off the end of this Legion. God, that was so dumb. Oh my God. I just ran in there like a freaking buffoon. Like a buffoon, boys. We should have just done the Legion from the start. Get there before you complete it and it's good. Oh, it's gone. Man, they're so fast with it, hey. Alright, let's let's think about this strategically. What's the best course of action? Hey, you got a torch infantry, nice. Uh I guess we could do all of these. We could do those, right? Yeah. I think that's I think that's the go. And then hopefully we get some sacreds on the way that we can up our gear with. 2020 incoming. Your ninth single player torch. Which one are you what are you looking for? Have you, have you collected all the Lilla Shrines? I have, yeah, I have. That's something else I did today as well. I looked up a map, though, to get the last ones. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah! Oh, only 89 Ebolos, though. That's a great call. That would have been the smart thing to do. That would have been so much smarter. To save up Ebolos... And then cash them in in World Tier 3. I think, what, I think what we do for now, though, is we just polish off these, um... Just the baby... The baby Liliths. And then we might get some Sacreds on the way. And then, um... And then maybe we try another... An, another World Tier 3 dungeon. Yeah. A D4 live stream, yep. You didn't miss too much, Jay. You missed the um, capstone and me almost dying. That's <laughs> that's about it. Now we're just uh, we're just bumbling about <clears throat> in areas that we definitely shouldn't be on on hardcore, but it's fun. Oh, sapphire, that's nice. We get uh, regular gems now. That's actually really useful. Oh, the siege bows. Oh, man, I hate those siege bows so much. Ah, oh, wallers as well are so scary now. Like in tier two, I wasn't scared of wallers at all. Okay, we, we got to clear the masses here. We got to get rid of these ads. Get him. Get a couple pickoffs. Nice. There's one guy. Nice, one down. Come on, give me a sacred or two. Ooh, oh, it's a bow. Come on, sacreds. Yes. Some sacred, some sacred shoes. Uh, evade. Move speed after killing an elite. Shrine debuff duration. Oh. Let's just put it on. And the Tudor Landslide! Tudor Landslide with willpower. Ooh. But the imprinted aspect on the ones we have is so good. That's not sacred either. Alright. What build are you going for in T3? I think we use the same build, Ryan. Yeah, I think we use the same build. I think it should be fine. It's just super slow at the moment because those guys are 8 levels above us. 
but um, but I, I think this is a this is the way to go. Yeah, but it depends. It depends if we find like um, if we find like some sweet unique, then we'll we'll pivot. We'll pivot based on what we find. You're playing poison slide. Is that is that kind of what we're doing now? Yeah, like if we if we fi found a staff of of crone, then we'll we'll definitely pivot into that's claws, right? And then yeah, Vasily's same deal. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, how much better the game would be instead of having skill specific aspects they made them like poe um, fire cold projectile aoe buff would have applied so much more skill yeah i mean there's there's lots of ways they could have just made it better yeah it's d4 for me is a game of of near misses yeah <laughs> near, lots lots and lots of near misses yeah Still fun though. Yeah, I haven't um I haven't actually paid POE, so I don't know exactly like the gems what you're talking about. But I'm gonna play POE too for sure. Is it hardcore is it hardcore in POE? <laughs> Can you imagine? Going into PoE for the first time ever, and then playing hardcore. Yo, XP, thank you, man. Uh, Schmuck, tomorrow's week 25. Um, hope you're getting this shoey ready. Only about 15 weeks left. Wait, what? Wait, did I promise to do a shoey? Oh, fuck. Oh, I have vague memories of this XP. <laughs> what did I? What did I promise? <laughs> God damn! It does sound like something I would do. Wait, there are fucking panther bears here, dude! Congratulations, though. I'm so happy everything's going well. Yeah, that's just the best news. I remember you promised. Yeah, I promised you too, right, Pally? <laughs> uh. Oh, okay, 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 yep, yep, that checks out. That is something that I would do, yep. That, that, that does sound like something I would say. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to clean my shoes in preparation. <clears throat> that definitely sounds like me. Um, only 27 more dudes and then we get this, um, that's three you get from that, I'm pretty sure. Get the gym shoes, yeah. <laughs> Just straight after running a marathon or something. Yeah. Hey, Zachary, welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome, wel welcome. Hope, hope all is well on your end, man. There's hardcore and PoE. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That would be kind of funny fun though right just going into a game that's like notorious for being insanely complicated and in depth and then just like going in raw on hardcore that would be kind of fun i feel like we should do that the first time like first time around and it's unlocked straight from the start yeah it would be right it's not like a playstation game <laughs> wait, wait, you remember me making that promise when I was doing a Diablo live stream? <laughs> Must have been me. Okay, I don't like these spiders. I think we should pick those guys off. And I don't like having no pods. Okay, 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 okay. Can we sc scroll of escape when we're not? Oh, we can. Whoa, Scroll of Escape is my new favorite thing. <laughs> that's the, that's so overpowered. <laughs> God damn. I have no healing potions. <laughs> but we got one out of our out of our um one of our slots is sacred now, so 
We are, we're on the up and up. We're on the up and up. I think we should salvage... That, that. Man, we can't even use that, it's so dumb. Uh, that's max roll, so I think we ex extract that. Okay. What's something else easy we can do? We should go back there, because we're so close to doing this one. We'd only need, like, 15 more enemies now. Should do POV, POE fresh next season before POE 2. That's actually what people have said before. Yeah. Yo, Omac, welcome to the stream, dude. Um, yeah, people have said that I should do POV 1 before jumping into POE 2. But we'll see. We'll see how everything unfolds. <clears throat> Maybe through the middle ignit tunnels. Oh, like uh, the leaf ones. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea because I do have like one of the one of the good invokers that get you like the black malignant hearts. And it would be kind of nice to have a couple of those. Because we're only really using one of the three malignant hearts that we've got at the moment. Only really using the wolf one. It's actually quite a good idea. Let's cash in this first. Having a feeling POV 2 will be better than Diablo 4. I think that's probably a pretty safe bet. Yeah. I'd probably... I'll probably roll those dice. <clears throat> if I was a gambling man. Okay. Three elites at once. Really got to focus here. See if we can get some pickoffs. I really, really don't like that fire. We just gotta get a couple pickoffs. Approximately three pickoffs and then we'll be fine. Okay, one down, one down, one down. Yes, we got the reset. We got the reset on the creeper. Okay, in the fire, in the fire, in the fire. So if we get crits, then we have a chance to, if we like lucky hit on crit, we have a chance to reset our companion skills. Yes. Okay. Okay. Last dude. Flame dude. I just got to not stand in the fire. Got to remember that. And I can't get you baited by drops because that's what happened in the beta. He like dropped something yellow and I was like, ooh, yellow, and then just walked straight into the fire. That's how Sparky 2 died. Oh my god. Okay. I'm in it. Yes. Nice. Nice. Oh what? Didn't even get any loot? We got skimazed. Okay, I think one of those is what, probably what we sh what we should do. You got wilderness load. <laughs> they got me with the perfect bait, which is just uh... okay, okay. Are we dead? Are we dead? Cast your votes. Place your bets, lads. <laughs> Two to one. Two to one. Fuck. <laughs> there was no edit. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For you. <laughs> Spiky nine. <laughs> Alive and kicking, thank god. Because that's how Sparky6 died. <laughs> Shit. Except it was me quitting. <laughs> Geek for the hacks, yeah. For the map hack. 
Um, let's see. Let's do one of the malignant tunnels. <clears throat> because because we've got the good invokers which give the really strong the really strong gems. And then after that, assuming everything goes well, then we will then we'll try and get seven more whispers and then we could cash it in. Or oh, oh, six more whispers actually. Yeah, only six. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> We're just having fun. We're just having fun, basically. Yeah. I need more time. Um, task bar exposed. Everyone screenshot. Dude, I have doxed myself like literally 15 times on stream, you know, but it's like, whatever. If anyone really wants to find you, then they can find you. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know what I mean, love? I need time to do that. When's the bridge review video coming? <laughs> I actually might make that one day. Because that's one thing that Diablo 4 for sure has will have on PoE 2. Like, some of the best video game bridges... That, actually, just some of the best bridges I've seen hands down. Yeah. Alright, let's go in here. Um, you need that streamer adjacent lag? Call my second torch roll of the day. I think you've got an 1816 assassin there. I wish, I wish I could, could have said something better, but uh, that's just, that's just the frequency that the universe was giving me for that one. Yeah, 1816 assassin. Although it could be 1618, sometimes it's a little janky, you know, it's hard to say. Yeah. It's a druid, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be fitting. <laughs> Oh, darling, 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 darling. Straight up murdered that single normal enemy. Uh, let's get that. Oh my god, these armor guys are going to take so long. I feel like the armor is like... Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Seventeen, fifteen, Zod. Nice, man. Nice torch, dude. Congrats. I assume you were hunting for for a Zod one. Um, let's see here. You only need Necro now. Amazing. You absolutely should pay Poe before Poe two. I'm kind of mad if you don't. <laughs> Well, we'll see. We'll see uh, how how everything works out. <clears throat> Just kind of taking everything as it comes, you know. But definitely, after we after we beat Elias with this character, we'll we'll jump back to D two for a while. And then it's like kind of like season five for D two should be coming out in September. So, just gonna play it by feel. 48, tactical level, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But can't get complacent now. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? We did those. I think we should probably go down here. Let's do that one. More damage to elites. Thinking of any weird D2 challenges to try? Well, the next couple of D2 videos that I want to make, at some point in time, I want to do identify 100 torches at once. Um, I want to do that at some point. And then I'd like to do... I was thinking about doing a series of magic finding battles. Like, against other D Diablo 2 creators. Like, I feel like that would be so fun. Um, where you just have, like, a set amount of time and then see who can get the best stuff in that time. Like, kind of similar to... 
Like, I did a couple of videos, like, last year, which were, like, magic finding battles, but they were against, like, two bosses in the game, like Mephisto versus Andariel. But it'd be kind of fun to do it against, like, a series of creators, you know? Like, you know, battle sweet feel, and then, like, go battle, like, bar barricade, and, um, and Kelef XD and stuff. <clears throat> If, if if they say yes, <laughs> but I think that would be a cool idea. But probably Kalef XT first. I gotta I gotta send him get in contact with him somehow. That was way too hot to trot. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting distracted here. We got- we need pickoffs. That's what we need. We need- Oh my god, that lightning is so brutal! So brutal! Okay, we need to pick this guy off. Get him. Stick him. Is he dead? We got him. We got him, lads. Bro! I almost died like three times then. That lightning does so much damage. <laughs> God damn! Thank God that guy's glitched out. Uh, I don't think it's worth we do that. Because it just gives us one heart, you know? And it's just like... Oh. It's just one garbage heart. It's just like not worth my precious time. Oh, this is the same... He's, he's got the lightning one as well. Oh, it's a different lightning one though, that's fine. Man, where are the sacreds at, bros? Um, Sweet Phil can only stream four to five hours max, he said. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it would be like kind of custom rules, you know, it'd be like, oh, maybe a 10 hour period or something. So it would be maybe two streams for him or something. Yeah, custom rules per person, just whatever works for them. Yeah. Not everyone has as much degenerate time as I do. <laughs> yeah. First to collect a hundred nails in hardcore challenge. <laughs> yeah, which is effectively just a three thousand Andariel run video. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to backtrack here, but that's fine. Uh, let's see here. No bottle healing challenge that Lama did. Only heal from towns, from town and shrines. Did he end up beating that? So like no replenished life either, right? That actually does sound kind of fun. What? I wonder what class you do that with. You would do that? You didn't heal at town either? Just like, only healing from levels? Oh! Focus! Focus! That's so gnarly. Like, the start would be fine, but towards the end, that would be so, so gnarly. You did it with Druid? Oh, so you just get heaps of summons and stuff. Summons and like fissure. And he, he ended up he ended up beating it. Wow. That's actually pretty sweet. Oh fuck. That's actually such a sweet challenge. I'm sure the VOD for that is still on YouTube, right? I might snoop it and see how fun it would be to watch. Wait. We need pots. We need pods. <laughs> Speaking of no heal challenge. Uh, what, what else did I miss here? Um, I 
leave a comment on his video. <laughs> I bet I can find more loot in, in you than in 24 hours. Yeah, I'll just send him an email. Um, I'm more of an email guy than a, than a Discord guy. <clears throat> he died to Hell Diablo. Oh, man. He got so far. And so what was he running? Was he running, like, minions and... He would have been running mi minions and, like, Fissure, right? Ah, oh, man, that's a fun idea. That's a really fun idea. I really like that idea. I think we should try it. Email it, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm just, like, much more likely to, um... To check the email. To check my email. Wait. Ah, fucking this, this fire thing is so scary. Man, we need to separate him. Okay, nice pick off. Okay, another pick off. Hopefully he just follows us. Just like being in that little nook with both of them there is so brutal. Okay, we'll kill this guy first. And actually getting close to attack this guy. Okay. Ooh, sacred totem! Yes! The first sacred that's actually useful. Nice. Ooh, chest armor too, but not sacred. That would have been huge. That would have been huge if that was sacred. Ooh, sacred totem. Plus 188 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Barrier isn't amazing. Lucky when barrier isn't amazing. Fortify is nice though. And the biggest nice thing is it's just plus so much damage. And then that's the debilitating raw one. Alright. Second sacred down. Are you an introvert? Massive dude. <laughs> Massive introvert. I'm like an introvert who is like just wildly socially anxious as well. <laughs> so it's just a. It's just like a. Just compounding. Like I. Like, for example, like if I was to open up like Discord messages, then there's so much anxiety as associated with that, you know? <clears throat> like, it makes me really anxious. Even just thinking about it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you just gotta fucking <laughs> figure it out, you know? <laughs> just because it's not your... Just because it's not your fault doesn't mean it's not your respons responsibility to work with it, you know? And being, uh, being super, super anxious is just one of those things. Yeah. So, Schmuck, tell us three interesting things about yourself. Oh, you're putting me on the spot, bro. <laughs> three interesting things about myself. I'll have to think about it. I don't have them. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, bro. Oh, fucking wallers, dude. God damn. Interesting thing number one. I'm still alive. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I gotta focus. I gotta focus for two sacks. I gotta focus for two sacks. 
I'm racking my brain trying to think about what's inter interesting about me. But that's too, using up too much brain power. And I don't, I don't have a lot to spare. Okay, so that lightning guy will kill him last. Because he's going to be really brutal. Can we get a pick off there? Nice pick off. Nice pick off, dude. Okay, let's get this guy. Can we get a pick off, please? Nice pick off. Ooh. Is that a staff? Sweet. Okay, I feel like these guys' base attacks are just really hard. The lightning. Man, that was so sketch. That was so fucking sketch, Chris. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Hey, a tunic. Sacred tunic. Nice. Uh, plus 200 defense. CC duration reduction. <laughs> but we need that one. And barrier generation. Oh, we want fortify stuff, not barrier stuff. But it's just like so much armor that it's like definitely good to put on. Um, that's just a single-handed axe. Plus 200 damage. Plus 100 damage. Wait, as if that's not sacred. Why is that not sacred? Oh, well. Uh, oh, thanks for tuning in, Matt. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, dude. Uh, in softcore wallers are annoying. In hardcore, those bros are scary, dude. <laughs> dude, when we were walled in and he was charging towards us like this, that was terrifying, man. I'm going to see that in my nightmares. With no cooldowns. Sacred item power is 625. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did you come from, dude? Oh, you're the, you're the boss. You're the big bad. Not ready yet. Alright, sick. I think what we want to do is this optional thing. Capture the malignant heart. Oh, what the hell? Sweet. Because it could be one of the black ones. I forget what they're called, but they're like, uh, they're the good ones. Did I get all the sacreds on the ground? Wrathful, brutal. Oh, they're not the ones we want. It is locked. Yeah. They're not the ones we want. We want a, um... One of these ones. But we can't. Alright, let's finish off the whispers. We only need six more. And then we get a full... We get a full, um, a full cache of items. And surely that'll have stacks of sacreds in there. Nearly met Sparky 9, I know. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Yikes. Speak with, uh, here? Oh, hell tides. <laughs> what did I miss here? Um When Lama did the challenge, you could only summon use one summon for Druid. It'll be a, a lot easier now. You can summon the whole zoo. Oh, true. I forgot they changed that. True. 
Yeah! I mean, we could do a world first, Ryan. Why do you... So it's probably specifically for Diablo that you don't use a Necro for that challenge. Wait, I'm actually really excited by that. By the idea of trying that challenge. I think we should definitely do that ASAP. So the, um... The challenge is in Diablo 2 to, like, a no healing challenge. And we could do it as a druid. So this is all just practicing. And, and you could just get an army of summons. Of, like, wolves, poison creeper, heart of the oak, I assume you use? Or you might, maybe you even use the heart of the barbs. And a bear. Like a bear summon, that is. Yeah, man, I really want to try this challenge now, man. I'm really excited by that. This is the same feeling, Ryan. This is the same feeling that I got when we we're on stream. We we're in the ancient tunnels and then the idea to cube up to a bear rune using counters. It's like a pretty similar feeling, you know? And I feel like in life, when you get that sort of feeling, like an excitement towards an idea, then, you, then you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't pursue it. Did you have sorcerers melee only? <laughs> Just straight up carried by static as per usual. Um, also, this hell tides now. That's actually really good for us because we might be able to just piggyback. <laughs> just piggyback off people. And we can pop chests. We can pop chests as well if we can kill enough enemies and hopefully get... Um, Get kitted out with some more sacred sacreds. Um, I don't think we upgrade anything yet because this is probably all going to get replaced soon. All right, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Hopefully, like a level 80 just rolls on past and just carries us. Because these guys are brutal. They're level 58? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, they're 10 levels above us. I yes, carry me. Oh, another 48, dude. But I wonder if... Do you only phase in? You, do, you only phase in with people on your world tier, right? Wait, he's so much better than I am. That's so annoying. Oh, he probably has his all his sacreds set up already. That's probably it, right? Yeah, let's just carry. Let's just get carried by this guy. Alright, 14 cinders. We just need... We just need like 60 more. I don't know if we'll have enough, we'll, we'll be able to farm enough for the mystery box. Because you need over 200 for that now, right? Oh, big daddy, big daddy. Wait, he's dying so quickly. Oh man, that bub is so buff. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was way too close then. That was way too freaking close, bros. Oh, not even sacred again. Damn it. My comments fail, but you can make melee sauce with ridiculous gear, but it's worse than other stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you could make it work. Yeah, you'd just use, um, you'd use enchant, right? Yeah. 
Okay, there's the mystery box. If we can somehow manage to scramble together 250, then we could do that. But I feel like we just won't be able to get to 250. Oh my god, it'll take so long. I think it's probably be better we do a smaller one. It was 175, but in the recent patch, they were like, they upped it. <laughs> yeah. It like, that, that change, that change is annoying, because it was like, it was so nice popping that chest, but I kind of, I kind of understand it, because it was like, so much better than everything else, that was kind of like, oh yeah, fair enough. What's that? Rings. So, jewelry is, isn't important. What we should find is a weapon one. Like a 75 or like a 100 or whatever it is, weapon one. Wait, I want, I want this guy to follow us. Oh, SOJ from Mephisto, Walter. Nice, man. Congrats, dude. Are you single player or are you online? Huge find, dude. Yes, beast bones. That's great. We need beast bones to make our feign death. Oh, yeah. Um... Wait, no, don't leave us. Just invite him to a party? Nah, I can't be bothered. It's too much social interaction. You're sweating from excitement? <laughs> I know the feeling, dude. I know the feeling. That's sick, man. Congrats again. Yo, Gene. Welcome to the stream, dude. We did the capstone, man. We did the capstone, and now we're just trying to get... Oh, we're just trying to get our first batch of sacreds online. Okay, no pots left. So hopefully we need to find a, um, a weapon chest. I think that's the chest we should target. And I think you need like 125 for those, right? Okay, we've got one potion. Two pots, three pots, we're balling out. Uh, we did it at 47, yeah. You did it at 40, nice. Um, honestly, if you're softcore, you could probably do it soon. <laughs> you could probably do it low, you could do it low 40s if softcore, I reckon. But I think hardcore, it's probably prudent to wait to like, at least 45. Alright, let's run around see if we can find a a chest that we want. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. A roadblock. Got no pots either. Okay, that's a peel out situation. That's a peel out situation. That's a peel out situation! Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Okay. Muscle memory, baby. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we got boxed in. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
We got a, we got any hypertensives in chat, or have you all um, or have you all cocked it already? Deary me, <laughs> it's not good for my blood blood pressure. This is not good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, wait, we should wear that. That's big upgrade. Don't need that. Two-handed, I'm not really interested in, interested in. Mm, gonna get rid of that. Fortify damage to close. Damage to stun. That's kind of hot. I kind of like that one. Anything breaks, the forge is hot. And then we, sh we should up. Just while we're waiting for better gear. Schmuck testing is like, I know. <laughs> we're straight up playing with fire over here. <laughs> That's like the eighth near death experience in one stream. Oh, and we still need two more beast bones. Um, let's make a couple of these, though. Um, nearly sparking night again. Yeah. <laughs> again, again, again. Yeah. Just enjoy some time in the tavern. Yeah, just chillax. Just have a, uh, a drink with, uh, Geglash. Just to, um... Just to regroup. And let's see what we don't have here. I don't think I've got that anywhere. Because it was there. Shepherds. I need to extract that. Why don't we put this here? Oh! We don't have the means. Good thing we didn't die, or else we would have lost our cinders, hey? Sit on the stool for a bit, yeah. <laughs> Those stools, I swear to god they're placed in the most annoying spots that you always accidentally click on them. <laughs> Need to get lucky and find the aftershock aspect. Is that the one where you get two landslides? That would be such a big power jump. Holy hell. We had that on Sparky 6 too. Sparky 6 was so well kitted out. Had Aftershock, had one bonus companion. Like, was in such a good spot. Alas. Death finds all of us in the end. Um, let's see what this chest is. See? Hand guards. Man, I don't feel safe here. So locked in. Oh, they're on the map. Weaponry, yes, weaponry. Yes. Okay, that's what we want. We want that. Let's hang around that chest. Death finds a way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, 125. Alright, beautiful. We just need like 42 more cinders. And 
and an elixir. And then after that, I think we should um, try and we should try and finish whispers. Oh yes, this will give us some for sure. Oh baby, four. Uh, I don't know if I want to do a event. I feel like that's too. That's a bridge too far for us. Okay. Actually, let's just do it. It's right here. It's right here. Oh my god, spiders, and I already used Bulwark. So I don't have something to break. No, no, spiders are too hot. Spiders are too hot, man. Because we only have one source of unstoppable. That was too, the risky to bisky ratio was like way off with that. We need to, we need some pick offs. We need to fight like one at a time. Yeah, like you. Oh my god, I'm in it. No, <laughs> fuck that, I'm out. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Let's fight these guys instead. Oh yes, so many. Okay, we've got 30 minutes. We've got 30 minutes to get 15 embers. More spiders? Okay. Oh my god, I hate those guys. <laughs> Just straight up ambushing that exit. <laughs> okay, we've only got one pot as well. Oh, almost got bear slammed. Nice. Nice. Only need 11 more. 10 more. Oh, this is at least three here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We have no pots. We have no pots. <sighs> Hardcore rules, boys. Go back to town. When in, in doubt, go back to town. If you're even considering regrouping at town, then, then you should always do it. Why not go for mystery chest? It'll just take too long. <laughs> yeah, because we're so weak. We're so weak because you need fucking 250 for it now um, Yeah so, Someone gave me a membership. I don't know who it was, but thank you very much. I don't know who it was either. Yeah <laughs> But uh, people are so generous. So shout out to whoever, whoever that was lovely having you as a member, dude And thank you for saying thank you. That's Actually, so sweet when people say thank you like that. Alright, we need... Oh my god, this guy's just not worth... Oh, we should not lure him where... This guy's just not worth. That's a big guy. We shouldn't lure him to the chest. Oh my god, he's following us. Okay, two pods, two pods, no bulwark. I've seen this. I've seen this movie before. Um, there it is. We'll just forage the remaining cinders. <laughs> Foraging stream. <laughs> oh, there they are. Beautiful. That's it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Now we just got to get there safely. And hope there's no, no one ambushing us. Ooh, death maze. And a scroll of escape. We'll need that later. <laughs> okay, let's go. 
We're on. <laughs> You're dancing with death, I know. Dance with the devil. What the fuck? Come on now. Bro, that was not at all worth it. What? One sacred axe? Come on, dude. I almost had an aneurysm eight times for this. Although, it is a pretty big upgrade to our DPS. That's pretty big. 143. Overpower basic is nice. Damage to injured is, like, not amazing. Um, alright. Well, one thing down. Now next, I think we get the five remaining whispers. I think that's what we should do. Because then we get a whole cache. No way, infantry! No shot, bro! Griffins from Pindle, congrats, man! Congrats! You'll have to let us know uh, how it rolls, man. So Griffins is, 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 of course, 15 to 20 and 10 to 15, for those of you who don't know. And it's the 15 to 20 that's most important. Congratulations, man. Um... Uh, I, I got gifted a membership during the Amazon gear up stream. I was only in that stream for like 10 to 15 minutes. This community is awesome. Yeah, you guys were so insanely generous during that stream. It was nuts. It was like crazy. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Um, it was... Yeah, it was on another level, that one. Alright. So, easy whispers to do. I think this is good, because then we can get that and the cellar, and then we'll only need one more. Perfect. Oh, 15, 12. Oh, bad luck. Yep, but still not ethereal as well. Still, that's the main thing. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Congrats, man. That's crazy. All right, let's up this. What are we short on? Cash and and those. Oh, it's just just that. Okay, that means we should dis dismantle more. Good salvage. Do we have it? Nice. Not while I'm in town. The streamer adjacent like. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, aneurysm 8. <laughs> Good girl. We gotta be really careful of those charging bros now. I did not see that guy at all. I was just thinking about doing that no healing run. I'm just so excited for that. I can't wait to do that. It's just gonna be such a fun set of streams, you know? Ah, it's gonna be the best. After this stream tonight, after the gym, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look up and see, I'm gonna see which, which easy early game rune words, like, that you normally make, which of them have replenished life on there, because we won't be able to use those ones. Do a bit of research, you know? And it'll be so fun to play Druid in Diablo, I feel like I never played Druid in Diablo 2. It'll be so fun to have, like, an, an, an awesome excuse to do that, just play a fresh class. Oh, yes! Everything's coming up, schmuck. Okay, beautiful. Already got 45 of those. Yo, Bob! Good morning, man! Welcome to the stream! 
put a five five in the Griffins. True, true. Burn to five five. Nah, you'd probably do. You'd probably always do that on single player, right? Because Griffins are so outrageously rare. But if you have one, like if it was ladder, if it was ladder, and I had a bad Griffins, like a low roll Griffins, then I wouldn't put a perfect facet in there. I'd put like a four five or a five four. But on single player, I think you just put the perfect one in. Because it's just like so long between Griffins. Could be years, you know? Such a huge find, man. Congrats again. Such a massive find. I, I definitely, I know the feeling so well. Like the first Griffins I found was like a, a, an awful roll, 1610. But it's like, I literally couldn't care less, you know? You're just so happy. You're just so happy about it. Okay, get out of that. And that. Ooh, Sacred Ring. I don't think it matters much at all with jewelry, though, because it's just the all rares, all the resistances. Oh, yeah, and, and wider ranges. Oh, it, actually, it does matter. It matters. <laughs> damage to poison, max roll, physical damage, half a percent off perfect, overpower. Wait, that's insane for us. That's such a good ring for us. That's so good. Because our earth skills are physical, and then obviously, like, we do so much poison damage as well. That's so good. Oh, it's damage to poison. That's even better. That's a beautiful ring. That's really, really good. Really good. Fuck yeah, dude. And we can, we can put that in straight away. Um, don't you feel the items are boring in this game compared to D2? <laughs> Brandon, you asked that at the wrong time. <laughs> you asked that right before we found this amazing ring. But I agree. I, I agree for the most part. This cell is not done. Oh, it didn't pop. I, I agree that the itemization in D2 is a lot more exciting for me. Yeah, for sure. And, and a component of that is nostalgia, right? And a component of that is that Diablo 2 has just had more time in the oven. Oh, this fucking little... This little dude. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I, I much prefer D2's itemization, for sure. Yeah. But man, that's a good ring. <laughs> but that is a damn good ring. Um, Alright, so now we need... Just to kill, like, 55 more enemies for that one. And then we'll need to, to scramble together one more Whisper. And then we get our first World Tier 3 cash. Um, so maybe we head down here. Because this will progress that. And we might even be able to do a side at the same time. That's maximum efficiency. Ooh, Ruby! Yes, that's so good. Ruby's really good, because that's what we want to socket our armor with. Did you revive your character? No, no. I've just been, uh, I've just been grinding off stream, Bob. Yep, to, uh, to get back to where we were. Oh, what? What? Where did that come from? I did not see that coming at all. That felt like it was coming out of the blue, dude. That was just an explosion out of nowhere. Surely it would just happen in front of me and I just didn't see it. Holy smokes. God damn, Bob. <laughs> we almost had to do it again there, Bob. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, man. Sometimes you just gotta be grateful to be alive. I'm so... I've got so much gratitude right now. <laughs> to not be dead. That was so close. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dancing... Dancing with death over here, man. Do you guys know the song Dancing with the Devil? 
I remember the first time I list I heard that as a kid, and man, that really messed me up. <laughs> that was like... That was just a formative me memory, hearing that song for the first time. Like, not good formative. I feel- I'm so scared of this guy now. I feel like that ex last explosion was out of the blue. Oh, it's like that. Okay, okay. Okay, so they do a wind-up for it. Okay. Yet again, it was just me being uh, complacent. Okay, at least we know what to look for now. And by we, I mean me. You guys ob obviously already knew. Um... Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again, Bob. <laughs> I don't think these guys are worth. <laughs> no, fuck that. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> They're not worth it. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> not right now. They're not worth the stress. Okay, we need to find the corpse. And what's this one? Collect fungus. Okay. Corpse and fungus. Have I seen Oppenheimer? Nah, I don't really go see movies in the in the theater anymore. Yeah, it's been years and years since I've I've seen that. Yeah. This previous Sparky's looking down on Sparky Eight with worry, yeah, <laughs> and looking down like some things never change. <laughs> yeah, enjoying the game. Yeah, I'm having heaps of fun. Yeah, I'm having heaps of fun. It's um, you know, I've. I've I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's it's a lot of fun playing it through with you guys. Um, it's also a lot of fun kind of like, you know, making your own challenges and stuff, like playing on hardcore for a bit of extra stakes and then doing stupid stuff like what we're doing right now. Just like trying to take down enemies seven levels above us on hardcore when we've got crappy gear, you know, just, just, just spice it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah. You must go and see it in cinema. I don't know. I don't know if it's really my bag. If it's really like my type of movie. I, I do really like um, Killian Murphy though. Yeah, I'm a big fan of. Ki I'm a big uh, Killian Murphy man. Such a good actor. Okay, so there's corpse. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. And I wonder if we got hit, just hit in the face with one of those big slams, if that one shots us. Hopefully, we never find out. <laughs> oh, okay, it doesn't. Wait! We, <laughs> we lost our gear there for a second. Did you guys see that? No, 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 no! What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? No potions. Oh, fuck. I got distracted by the fact that that guy literally knocked our clothes off. Did you guys see that? For like a second. We were just naked. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like the Forbidden Jutsu from uh, Naruto. <laughs> the Distraction Jutsu. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Alright, so we need to put on... Do we not have Poison Creeper Landslide? Oh, the hell? We Did we do that for so long? Not having Poison Creeper Landslide on? That's so silly. What? Ooh. 
thought that was a faint death potion. The sexy jutsu. Yes, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. Wait, do we have beast bones? No! Still need two more beast bones. Still need two more beast bones. Wait, we need... We need subterranean. Just so foolish to be rolling around without subterranean. Um... Where's the healing? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I do it here. Anime is so strange, I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> Naruto fucking pulled that out in like one of the final fights, I swear. Like against Madara. He's <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> sexy jutsu. <laughs> it's just like the climax of fucking 16 seasons. The biggest bad. It's so serious. And he whips that out. Okay. I can't believe we were rolling around without subterranean for so long. That's so foolish. Oh my god, I ate it again! It knocked me naked again! Oh man! I saw that guy coming, but I just it happened so fast. I feel like the downswing is really fast. It's like faster than I expect. I'm expecting it to like kind of being able to ra react once it starts moving. Okay. I could have so easily died then. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, bros! Dial it in, dial it in. Dial it in. I'm just thinking about the freaking sexy jitsu now. Getting distracted. Okay, pick offs. Nice. Oh, that was so scary. Okay. This guy's got lightning. That's, that's clear the ads. Okay, that's the lightning we really need to watch out for. That lightning, um... That lighting modifier is really scary. We really need to watch out for that one. Like, it's almost like we can't stand and bang right now. Which is disastrous. I think we just gotta wait for CDs with this guy. Just gotta play it safe. Good thing that's my forte. Yep, yep, let the companions kill him. Ooh, no pots left either. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now, 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 now. If we cash in our souls, then we just got to kill the elites, and then we get the first cash. And we've got an hour to pull it off. I'd say that's more than enough time. Oh, thanks for tuning in, Gekoslavia. Yeah. Like if in D2R, wait, 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 I really want to read that. If in, in D2R or D4 you hit 99 or 100, I'll get the number of that Sparky tattooed on you. <laughs> on hardcore only, right? <laughs> Bro, if I do it, if I hit 99 in D2R and hardcore, I'll get that Sparky number tattooed on me. <laughs> wait, let's clear the ads and then we'll cash. Just gotta clear the clear the masses here. I must wait Did I miss a capstone? Yeah, it was right at the start. But this is a lot more, what we're doing now is a lot more dangerous than the capstone. Yeah, we're just rolling around in hardcore, massively underleveled. 
but I've never felt more alive. So close to death, never felt more alive. Okay, so that's a lifesteal bro. That guy's gonna be hard to kill. Okay, maybe we pick up this guy first. Nice, one down, one down. Then Shadow Clone next. Got him, got him. Now lifesteal. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Got a level and we can do whispers. Ooh, baby. Sacreds incoming. Well, damn, good to, to see you, mate. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even a schmuck like me can do it. And someone will be like, is that an important date? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's so important about 172? <laughs> yeah. Uh, jeez, this is underwhelming. I think we go panties, though. Because we need new pants. Come on, legendary. Ah, no legendaries. But a first... First Nightmare Sigil. And no Sacreds either? Bros. Are you flipping kidding me right now? No, no Sacreds from that cache? That's so annoying. <laughs> That's so underwhelming. <laughs> oh. All right, what's next? I think, I think we just do it again. I think we just do it again. But this way, this time, maybe we do it from uh, just two dungeons. We'll do the two dungeons. Oh, we should, we should be able to do, surely we have Renown to cash in as well. Yeah. Does this give experience? A little bit. Yeah, the experience was really nice. I think we should do that again, but just just the two dungeons, if we can, if we can somehow scramble to scramble them together. Skip, 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 skip. Oh my god, so much talking. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if we had... If we had a feigned death. Beast bones? Imagine if that gave us one, that will be huge. But oh well. Do you guys know what level a tier 1 Nightmare Dungeon is? Like, what level the monsters are? It's, it's a lightning storm, we probably don't want to do it anyway. 55? 54? So it's just the same level as this will be? Or maybe even a level below. Yeah, you can make feign death potions, but we just we just missing some of the materials for it. Crushed beast bones. And it kind of seeps farming it. Even that even though that's the exact opposite of the mentality we want. Let's just go in here. All right, Harden Bastion, slay the High Inquisitors, and we got to go slow and steady. Slow and steady, and we got to remember: bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. We spend the night together, together in my room. 
go. Alright. First enemy down. Please be Condi. Oh, I don't think it's worth clicking that. Because it could just start spawning. Could be a cursed one. Okay, so it's not this way. I love the aesthetics of this dungeon. I just think this one, like the warm... The warm lighting against, against the wood is just so beautiful in this dungeon. Lights watch as well. Okay. Okay, big daddy there. Okay, there's the first one. Clear the ads first. We just get pick offs. Pick off this guy. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh, I missed with the poison. Oh, so dumb. So we got the um, we got the recharge. Nice. Oh, there was something there. Oh, his staff. Actually, we should probably put that on, hey? Because we don't have aspects here at the moment. Should probably wear that. Hey, good morning, Dave. Let's actually go upgrade that and maybe put an aspect on. We want to put on, um, since we're using a two-hander, I think we should put on the shepherd's aspect. Which is what we have on the amulet at the moment, I think. Yeah, that gives us bonus damage based on based on uh, how many companions we have. So hopefully we have the materials. Nope. What about now? Nope, so close. One off. Okay, we'll try again later. Think you might want to swap out of Ravens and into Petrify? I don't even know what Petrify does. I'll have a snoop. Yeah, going well, Ed. Thanks for asking, man. Petrify. Oh, the ulti. Right, right, right. Nah, I'm going to stick with Ravens for now. Because we've got stuff like, um, we've got stuff like this that gives us just straight bonus damage based off having a companion. It's not a bad idea though, to get the ulti up and running. It's a full screen stun. You're selling it well. You're selling it well, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Eep! Straight up lined me up with that one. It's good. A bit like the... I just love thematically. 
us, us rolling around with an army, you know? An army of wolves and ravens. Think of the thematics. Think of the theatrics. <laughs> nah, you're probably right. I'm gonna leave it for now, though. I don't like change. Ooh, sacred. Uh, 637. DR from distant, total armor barrier generation. Plus 7.5% damage. Uh, yes? Why don't we put this in there too? Give us 3% bonus life. Plus 7.5% damage. Okay. I'll just... I'll just yoink that one. Got him. All right, one, one down. I mean, one left. Surely just in there, right? You can change your wolves into werewolves if you find the artifact. That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, we had on um, Sparky Six, we had this sweet artifact aspect that was, um, that was, uh, gave us just like an extra of each companion. Like, I really want to find that one too. And the werewolves, man, that's so sick. I think the best one for us now is probably Aftershock. Just double landslide. Um, but, but just, there's just so much room for improvement. Because the double landslide works on the Poison Creeper as well. It's so nice. Hey, come here. Okay, got him. And sacred stuff again. 625. Okay, that's super low. Super duper low. Schmack, did you farm Renown for Paragon? Yeah, we're pretty good with the Renown. I think we're... We're at least... We're tier 4 in most places, I think. Yeah, because we've got most of the map and we have all of the Liliths. And I've done... Oh, focus! And I've done some dungeons and stuff as well, so... Yeah, so we should get... Actually, no. You need tier 5 to get the Paragon points, don't you? So we probably won't get any. <laughs> Wait, how do you get there again? Is it challenges? I swear W doesn't... Oh, Fallen Heroes, Sparky, testing, 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 Sparky. <laughs> A lot of the testing ones were um, the day before the season launch and I was just like trying to explore the map of like level 35 areas with a level 1 character or like level 10 character. Didn't, didn't turn out too well as you, as you saw. Alright, we get ambush in here, right? Yep. Okay, okay. Let's think it, think this through strate strategically. I think we need some pickoffs. We gotta kill... We gotta kill the... That guy. Okay, let's get out of here. Bad posse, bad posse. Let's just regroup. We gotta kill... The, um... The wind guy. I think he's most deadly. Oh, this room is so hard for us. Okay. I think we just wait for a creeper. We've only got two pots left as well. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so fucking bad. No, fuck that, no. That wasn't it. That wasn't it, bros. God damn. That was not it. I went in there with five pots and I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for that. Damn, that's all the dungeon progress gone. But that was just too dicey. I wasn't prepared. 
Okay. At least we got some stuff we, which we can do upgrades with. Oh, still need one more. Uh, let's put... Yeah. That can go in there. And we're so close to, um... We're so close to 50. Okay, that's actually probably a really good idea. Why don't we get the remaining 70, we'll get the remaining 70, um, renown here, and in doing that we'll hit 50, and then we get four paragons off rip. That's actually a great idea by you guys. Um, where's a, where's an efficient way, ooh. Well. <laughs> oh wait, we don't get renown for that one, I've already done that one. Let's see. You get a sidey in there. Let's see. That's Howie. Poor Frost Demise. With a sidey. Let's do it. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Because that'll get us the whole way, maybe? I think that gets us the whole way, right? Almost. We need 70 more. Build fortify fast, yeah. Druid is so good for hardcore. Despite what you're seeing in front of you. Like, so much fortify generation. Yeah, we need to get these. This is the pot lady. Thanks. Okay, and we're capped on sides, so... Yeah, I think the jury. I think there's no right answer for um, for Razor Tail or T Gods. Yeah, it just depends how you want to distrib distribute your points. Yeah, but I don't think there's one objectively better than the other. Yeah, I think it's just a bit bit of personal preference. Yeah. So it's like if you have the Razor Tail, then you put less into Pierce, and then if you have the T Gods, then you just chuck a couple extra into Pierce. Yeah. Need the aspect that increases damage based on fortify. Yeah, we actually should put. We should actually try and put that on now, because we got it from from. That's a dungeon aspect. But I just don't know. We just like don't have materials right now, to like upgrade or probably enchant but we'll see we'll see if we can do an enchant because we did just dismantle some stuff let's see nah we need so many more of those okay yeah only 89 abolos Good, um, good thought though. I, what I should have done is I should have saved Obolos from tier 2 and then just cashed them in on tier 3. That would have been the smart play. That would have been the big brain play. Alright. 55 dungeon, let's go. Destroy skeletal constructs and collect bones. Man, oh man, that's just so beautiful. I know I rattle on about this so much, but the environments in D4, they just fucking knock them out of the park. Like the landscape, landscape design and landscape graphics are just so beautiful. Just so they could get all those pre-sales based off the uh, trailer. <laughs> it's probably not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the bit of the game that is uh, by far the best. <laughs> Get them fucking uh, pre-orders, baby. I love this door strat we've got going on here.
Get out. Ooh. Almost got eaten by that. Great dual strat. Their numbers count for nothing here. Let's get rid of that fucker. Hey, we got Slareth in here. Welcome. Be careful. <laughs> I know. In fact, funnily enough, this is the safest we've been all stream. <laughs> oh, snap! He pulls you in? Oh, I don't like that crossbow there either. I think we should... We should pick this guy off. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, he's got the pull in and the lightning. That is a deadly combo. Let's just chill, get some CDs, regroup. Okay, let's go. Pop that. He's killed our wolves. We have Bulwark if we need to make a smooth getaway. Get the ads. Okay, we got him. We got him. Whew, nice. Sacred Staff. First Construct down. Oh, that's a big jump too. With willpower. With willpower. The other ones are not good though. But I think we just put on the green number. Yeah, we put on the green number. That's a lot of willpower. That's our scaling stat. Beware the butcher. Dude. We've got one scroll of escape left. For that exact scenario. That would be so funny. If that's how Sparky 8 went down. The butch. Manifest the butcher into the dungeon. Hey, stop that. You cut that out right now. Stop what you're thinking. Okay, almost got all the bonus. Just nine more. Oh yeah, that would probably be much, much faster. Whispers and world events. Yeah, that would, the efficiency would be delightful. Yeah. I think we're just, we're just going to bounce, bounce around and do, do whatever calls to us in the moment. But I think this is a good, this is a good, good play to get the um, Fractured Peaks renowned to level 5. Right before we hit 50. But we could do something like that after. Oh, just walked into that. Nice, we got most of the last bonus at once. Beautiful. Got him. Got him. Alright. Another construct. Okay. Just one more construct. But three elites there. Okay. Poison. Poison elite is pretty deadly. We need to get a pick off here. Got the creeper. Nice. Yes, double creeper. We got the reset. Okay. Great pick offs. Is 
Sacred Tunic, beautiful. Didn't even get one, didn't even get one, one giggle from all of the last bonus at once. Not even one. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Not even one person humoring me. Um, let's see. Sparky7 came and went off stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Sparky7 died at level 35. Just sleep deprivation and, um, sleep deprivation and, uh, complacency killed Spiky7. Yep. Not even a pity, haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're so used to your shenanigans, yeah. <laughs> I'm too predictable, man. I'm too predictable. You've all read this script before. Oh, another scroll of escape. Perfect. Now the butch can attack twice and we'll be prepared. We'll be prepared to take him down. Okay, last construct. Oh, it's so satisfying, just funneling them like that. Oh! Bulwark. We got the Frez. Alright, we've got the Creeper, but I'm actually scared to go in, in case they freeze again. Because our chill, our chill bar would be so high right now. So I think we need Bulwark to engage. There it is. There it is, baby. Got him. Okay, we've got one pot. What do we do when we've got one pot, boys? What do we do? We wait until we have zero pots. That's what we do. And then we go back to town. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, that's what Sparky7 would have done. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Judge him, exactly. <laughs> uh... By the way, you're crazy for doing hardcore with one-shot mechanics um, and che cheese stuns. Oh, yeah, it's just a dumb thing to do. But it's kind of fun. It's more fun with you guys, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> it's... It's just... You just gotta embrace how stupid it is. Um, that's a lot of max life. And a lot of sp spirit. And a lot of physical damage. Wow, that's really nice. Let's put that on. Whoops. Fire, thorns, lightning. Nah, 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 nah. And that doesn't do anything for us, but it's max ro max roll. So I think we should ex extract that just in case we want to wear it later on. And we haven't even upped this. Okay. Beautiful. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. Uh, that's why we love, yeah. The regular gameplay. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. All right, beautiful. Level 42, nice, Tleron. Huge. Uh, start of Act uh, 6, amazing. Congrats. That's like 10 levels higher than your previous characters, right? Schmike the like. Yeah, if we could, um, if we could get to triple digits likes, that would be awesome. So it's 23 more on my end. Yeah. Thanks, bros. It's so funny how humans get like fixated on like specific numbers, you know? <laughs> It's like a nice round hundred. It's just so satisfying, you know? You leave something on an odd number, it's just unsettling. It's just like, why is that? Like, I wonder, evolutionary, where does that come from? 
Because, like, we made up numbers. Alright, beautiful. Travel to the Flesh Cavern. Sounds like a party. We need to make sure I don't run into this boss fight with no pots as well. Okay. Surely it's up, right? Tlaroth, you got this. If I got this, then you got this, Tlaroth. Like... One million percent. One million dollars. The flesh cave, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bone zone. The bone zone from D1. Good question, I'm obsessed with wonders. It's just, cu it's just curious to me, because it's kind of like, that has to come from somewhere from our evolution, right? So it has to be some... It has to be something that kind of, like, jumped over from, like... Wait, I, I gotta kill this guy first. It has to be something that, like, jumps over from, like, a hunter-gatherer Neanderthal and a we apply it to numbers as well. You know what I mean? Does that thought process make sense to anyone but me? Like, from an evolutionary standpoint, why is it important that we find some things satisfying? Like, a nice round number. You know what I mean? Like, where did that, where did that come from? Because it's ubiquitous. It's ubiquitous amongst, like, all humans. So you know it has to come from somewhere. Like, relatively ubiquitous. Wait, these lightning guys, we really needed to hocus pocus focus for. You prefer odd numbers? Oddly. <laughs> that is quite odd. Yeah. We got a psychopath in the house. <laughs> in regards to numbers, it's due to the simplicity of round, nice numbers. Simpler things are easier to remember, I reckon. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Our brains like symmetry. But why do we like symmetry? I guess it could, yeah, just be sim the simplicity. It's e easier for us to kind of compartmentalize that way. And even numbers on the TV is a big no-no. Exactly. Yeah. All right, boys. We've got bots. <laughs> We've got elixir. <laughs> Uh, let's just pop, let's just pop that one. Focus. Wait, no, let's pop the poison. Pop the, oh my God. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Good thing I didn't panic. <laughs> all right, all right. Dial it in, boys. Another round? Pandaren Brewmaster? Anyone? <laughs> That's what the voice reminds me of. That's what it is. The druid voice reminds me of Pandaren Brewmaster. I placed that just then. That's been driving me crazy since day one. Wait. Let me make so you can hear it again. Can you hear that? Can anyone else hear that? Or is that just me? Oh, he's not saying it again. Can you hear that? That's Pandera and Brewmaster, baby. Oh. 
Ah, oh, Talera, thank you so much. You got this. Don't be a hasty little hobbit. Thank you, Talera. Thank you so much. Oh, no secrets, Talera. There's nothing sacred anymore. But the reason why we're doing that was for Renown. So, we can hear it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, let's see. A Sparky 8 had a mug. Uh, got a mug, but not wine in here, unfortunately. Yeah. Alright, we're so close. We're so close to that. Oh, we get that from the side quest, actually. We'll probably get the level 50 and the, um, the renown from this, cashing this in, actually. And then we can go and do whispers. Nice, double whammy. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's go here, claim that. Then Patagoon. I haven't looked at this at all. Do we want this, 8% max life and armor, or this, plus 20% damage? Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Let's go the- No, I'm just kidding. Let's go this way. Plus 20% damage. What the fuck? No conditions. <laughs> That's insane. And another 10% because we meet the intelligence requirement. Alright. And let's see here. Do we want another 20% damage? What the fuck? Or all res? <laughs> Bro, this is nuts. What? Just another 30% damage off rip? Oh, it's additive? Oh, right. It's not the good damage? Um, let's see here. Remember, you can't deal damage if you're dead. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> nah. We still want damage. We still want damage. Because if we, if we kill them more quickly, then there's less chance of us dying. So, what are we close to here? We're close to dry. And we're close to getting tier 4s on those. I think we should... Ideally, do whispers in dry if we can. Ideally, whispers in dry. Which we can. Dark Ravine. Oh, let's do that. Let's do let's do the Dark Ravine. Um, okay, beautiful. We got a plan. We got a plan. But first, we need to do some things in uh, Kobe because we need to. Hopefully, we've got some materials so we can put on an aspect. But we're really strapped for materials right now. You've done so well in Renown. Level 50 and almost full. That's... A lot of that's because... This is Sparky 8. So just got all the altars... On other characters. Well, we got... Three-fifths of the altars already on other characters. Yeah. And like the map and stuff. Yeah. But I've been grinding... I've been grinding the past um, 24 hours for shell. Oh, those pants were good. Shouldn't have done that. Two to rabies. Oh, well. Okay, we need those blue things. Um, got some leathers. <clears throat> Oh, the extra 10% is already part of the green number. Oh, I see. I see. So it's 20%, not 30%. Okay. Still a lot. Still a lot of damage boost. Uh, can we add that? Oh, no, we need... We need so many legendaries to get that. Okay, so we're a long way off it. And I think we come from... Oh, man, yeah, it's such a hike to get there. I think we go from here. Uh, 
How do, do the altars work? What if you have all the altars collected between two different characters? Uh, how many do you have when you start the third character? So you have whichever altars you've already found on either softcore or hardcore. Yeah. So if you found 50% on one softcore character and the exact other 50% on another softcore character, if you made an, a new softcore character, then you would have all of them, is my understanding. I believe. But it's like... But it's like the second character would have all of them too. They'd all just have all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Bamboozled me there for a second. Yeah, they'd all just have all of them. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have the amount of the highest progress character. Except that would be all of them. Because they're all shared, right? Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, any character just adds altars to the collection. So it's kind of like... Each character... Each character would have the most altars, because they'd all have the same ones. Yeah. Like, there'd be no character that had an altar that a, another character didn't, didn't have. <clears throat> Guys. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. All right, we're zoomed out here. It's so funny how, uh, like, so many people asked for a little bit more zoomed out, and it's, like, already in the game, you know? <laughs> it's already here. <laughs> but you still don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it until season, season 6. It's in the battle pass in Season 6, you can zoom out more. Favorite character so far? I like the Sorceress. Yeah, Sorceress is my fave. Um, but I'm also really loving the Druid. I prefer the itemization with the Druid. Because they're like build defining items. Like build defining uniques. You know, that just like makes finding those items much more meaningful. Because it's like, oh yeah, sweet. I found this. Now this whole build is like viable, you know? And I just find that really, I find that really fun. Yeah. But as far as like, just play style goes, I'm just a sorceress man at heart. You know, I'm so biased towards a source. But I, I, I think the druid is really well designed because there are so many different viable, viable builds. And the, the skills look sick. Like just that man, oh. Just straight up fucking earthbending, you know what I mean? It's so cool. Ooh, Ruby. Yeah, I saw that. Wujito <laughs> got DC'd and died. That's just so, so brutal. Focus, man! Oh! God damn. We should also snoop and see if we've got, um, we've got, found more beast bones. Because then we could make a feign death. So silly. 
Come on, beast bones. Oh, still only two. Still only two. We're probably just in the wrong area to find them. Complacency, exactly. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. Complacency killed Sparky eight. And seven. Wine killed six. <laughs> I, must wait a I must wait a moment. Ooh, yes! Sacred Pants! Uh, massive jump there. DR while injured. DR from distant. Two ranks to trample. Okay, not good. But it's just big green number, you know? Just a really big green number. We definitely, we definitely want DR from close much more than DR from distant. Like, much more. Got to pick up the blue to um, dismantle. Really need materials. The pantaloons, yes! <laughs> oh, stuff! But stuff's really good for resources. Pulverize now an earth skill. Not a bad roll there, too. Oh, we could craft beast bones. True, AC, good call. So you could craft some beast bones. Oh, I did, I did forget about that, dude. I completely forgot about that. Good call, man. We should see after this dungeon if we can uh, craft some beast bones, and then for the next, um, for the next whispers dungeon, then we could maybe get a, uh, oh, maybe get a feign death online. Okay, 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 okay. We just need to make sure we've got a bulwark ready to go, just in case. Just in case we catch a CC. Okay, one down. And that poison deals so much damage. so hard because it's like oh man I can't get close so I can't get my spirit okay beautiful one more animagus guy and they're right there thankfully doesn't have freaking annoying aspects on them or affixes or whatever all right we're good let's go deposit boys I need to keep you alive until the early cocky capstone 70 attempt. <laughs> oh yeah, I wonder when we should do that. <laughs> Maybe 67? Just as long as we don't get one tapped. As long as we don't get one tapped by um, Elias. Because we actually know the moves for Elias. Because we fought him like 300 times. Like right at launch. It'll make that fight a lot easier. Travel to the ancient cavern. Okay. Slay the favorite. Oh, this is... Wait! Wait! Okay, 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 okay. If I remember correctly, this one either has no boss or the boss in here is really deadly. Okay, we should see... We should, we need, we need a feign death if it's the boss that I think of. The lightning dude. Oh man, he, he's, he's so brutal. He's in a dungeon that looks like this, but this, I think it is this one. I think 70% chance it's this one. 30% chance this, this, this one has no boss. We like 100% need feign death for that. Or like some lightning elixir. It's a lightning boss guy? Oh man, he's so deadly, dude. We should we should see if we can craft some um craft those beast bones. Mm. 
yeah, lightning boss is so brutal. Wait, where, where am I going again here? How does one craft a bone? Right, let's not ask questions. Okay, so you can't craft uh, beast bones. I don't think. Makes sense. But we can make an incense. Oh, no we can't. False alarm. Fiend Rose. Oh, they're just hell tides. But we'll need... Is there a lightning elixir? So we need... Oh, you need crust beast bones for that too? Oh, maybe we have to make a weak one? Fire, cold, lightning. Okay, we have to make a weak one. Goodbye. Good luck. How are you doing damage? I'm running a tornado druid and my, my god it sucks. <laughs> I actually went tornado with this guy until like level 25 or something. What level are you, Elliot? This, this build's pretty sick if you... And you don't... It's really easy to get off o offline. Online. Yeah. It's like uh, Bulwark, Creeper, Wolves, Ravens, Stormstrike, and Landslide. And the most important aspect is um, Subterranean. Yeah, which you get from the which you get from the seasonal reward. And this one's really nice too as well, the Shepherds, which you can just get from a dungeon. Yeah. Um, I'm so scared about this fight. Damage to poison, crit strike chance, crit strike damage. With earth skills. Wait, that's so good. It means we lose max life, but that's just so good. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep that on for now. Because that's got lightning re resist and max life. I think we just need that for this fight. Okay, okay. There's a unique elite that always drops five. Oh, amazing. We should do that afterwards. Yeah, we should do that after this. Yeah, hopefully there is an after this. Because genuinely, <laughs> I'm genuinely scared of this, <laughs> of this fight. <laughs> Fuck. It's alright, we gotta get there first at least. Gotta kill two more um, favored. Yeah, because we got just a massive beast bone shortage. Man, these guys are so buff here. Bonus armor. Maybe because this guy? Right, I'm getting so complacent, man. Dying to normal enemies is not the way that I want to go. That ain't it. Yeah, you get a... Uh, I don't know if it's from the battle pass, but it's a seasonal reward. By, from like progressing the challenges. Yeah, I don't know if it's like counts as the battle pass. Yeah. But it's from the level 1, so it's super easy to get subterranean. Yeah. It's like you it's the first one you'll get. Or one of the first ones. Protection. I don't think it's Yeah, let's click it. It's about to say I don't think it's worth because it might summon enemies, but it's like <laughs> if I didn't click that and then died immediately, I'd never forgive myself. So, it's just worth clicking just to prevent that from happening. Alright. So, I know there's a guy up here to the left. Because he's very missable. That, those we need to be super careful, careful of. 
those little spiky boys in the ground. We need to be super caref careful of those. Ooh, stuff. Nice. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Come on, please be Aftershock. Aftershock! Okay, that's a good one at least. Attacking with basic increases the damage of the next core. That's a good one. But I think we still dismantle. I think it's still better to dismantle. Because we can't even put on the dungeon aspects on the gear we have right now. We're so poor. <laughs> We're so resource poor. <laughs> I mainly just wish Tornado moved slower. The thing that was pissing me off about Tornado is sometimes I would cast it and it wouldn't cast. You know, like I'd cast it on an enemy and, it, and the Tornado just wouldn't cast. I don't know if that was something that I was doing wrong. Like it did like the full animation, but there was just no Tornado. And I was just like, it's just so annoying. Did, did anyone else have that issue, or is that just a me thing? Is that just a uh, SOP? Schmuck only problem. It's probably just an SOP. I see it's clicking that. It's a bug, and it doesn't just affect Tornado. Oh, it happens with almost all attacks. Damn, I feel like it was happening heaps with Tornado. Or maybe I was just more in tune with it. Um, it's a dead zone bug with Tornado, been in the game since launch. As if they haven't fixed that shit yet. Since launch? What the frick? <laughs> that seems like a big thing to, you know? <laughs> Wanna do that ASAP. It's probably, uh, you know what's probably happening? Is it's probably just loading in everyone else's tornadoes. Everyone else in the realm. It's probably just loading in everyone else's tornadoes. So it's like not, not that easy for them to fix. <clears throat> and your tornado, it probably just goes into someone else's instance. That's where it goes to. <laughs> Shit. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's go. This is... I cannot stress this enough. This fight is by far the hardest thing we'll do all day. This is like... <laughs> such a bad idea. Travel to the Ritual Chamber. Also known as... Our Gravesite. Oh, get out! Oh, we have to make it there first! Oh my god. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Ooh. All right, we need to make sure we've got full pots and we need to make sure we've got the lightning. We've got the lightning on, the lightning elixir. Okay, let's go. Where is it? Oh my God, can you guys just leave me alone? <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to be stressed in peace over here. Fuck! We, okay, I guess we just have to kill them. I guess I'll kill ya. Did you see how low it got then? 
Holy fuck! <laughs> Did you see how low the helm got then? <laughs> Did anyone see that? <laughs> that was so low! <laughs> SIP! <laughs> yes! Oh! Fuck! Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! Oh fuck! That was just straight complacency, man. Because I should have just killed those enemy like any other enemies, you know. But instead, I was just rushing past because I wanted to kind of get to the get to the end zone, just to regroup, you know. Fuck, man! I. I saw that explodey guy, but I just didn't think it would do that much damage. But I can't think like that. If you see a mechanic, dodge it every single time. Even if you think you can fucking tank it. Jesus Christ. Alright. Lightning resist 15%. Fuck me, dudes. Fuck me, bros. Okay, let's do it. We got we got a scroll of escape. We got the escape. Oh, let's go, bros. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, focus. Dial it in, baby. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That was just a regular attack. It's okay. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, get off that! I was standing in that. Okay, phase one down. Phase one down. But that's the easy bit. Oh my god. Get out. Our damage is good. He just does so much. Oh my god. We have no bulwark. We have got no bulwark. We gotta chill. Just chill. Just chill. Okay, we gotta wait till we know it's safe. There we go. Pop that. Okay, wait for this. Get out. Get off that. Yes, Wolf! Wolf fucking tanked that for us, man. There was a projectile coming right for us. Okay, we've got only got one pot left. Only got one left. If we run out, we just gotta go. Okay, we've got some, we've got some, we've got some. We almost got the stags on him. We can't rush it though. We can't rush the stags. Yes! There it is! There it is! There it is! Stick him, lads. Stick him. Yes! Oh! Flippery dippery, man. That guy does a lot of damage. Jesus Christ! Ooh! God, Wolfie. Good Wolfie. Yeah. <laughs> Took a fucking bullet for us, man. Oh, shit. Did we even get the five whispers for that? Maybe we took... Maybe it took us too long. <laughs> Jesus. Damage is crazy? Yeah, the damage is good. The damage is good. Wolves all star performance. Dude's carry. This is being straight up carried. Yeah, that's why they call a man's best friend. Is Landside MVP this season? I think this is for sure, for the playthrough, this is one of the best builds. For sure. I, I just don't know how it goes pushing Nightmare Dungeons. Yeah. But, like, the fact that you don't need to find anything to get this online is just... Makes it so good. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's look at that one. Damage to poison, damage to sword, lightning damage. Oh, fuck that. Alright, I think we need that. Yes, we got two of those. We need lots of baneful fragments. 
I think we do that again. Yes, two more. Okay, now let's have a snoop here. This is really good. 10% damage to damage to poisoned. I think that's really good. But 150 life is a lot. Actually, let's just leave that on. I think our damage is fine. Oh, we still can't do that yet. We need these silver ores. Oh, well, can we... We can do that. Just as long as it's not consuming silver. Silver ores. Oh, yes, we got the whispers. Nice. So there's a... Gear missing aspects triggers me. Yeah, we don't have the we don't have resources to put it on. Yeah, <laughs> you can craft silver ore. Oh, I'm sweet. Let's do that. I assume up here. So you guys were saying that there's there's a super unique that always gives you beast bones. Because I would love some beast bones right now. Because then we can pop a um. Then we can make some faint deaths. Wait, where are we going? you craft it from this dude I assume oh silver ore fuck yeah we use chunks why don't we make uh let's make like 50 of those sweet that's literally the first time I've ever done any crafting <laughs> silver ore is flavor text <laughs> let's let's see if it's got flavor for you We need, I need to hit hit more ore veins, yeah. I usually hit them if I see them. But I'm, I'm not looking for them. Silver is prized by arti artisans for both its beauty and potency against dangerous creatures throughout Sanctuary. I don't know if that's the right use of the word potency, but what do I know? Beautiful. Sweet. Um, all right, I think we do another whisper dungeon and then we could cash in. So this is a nice one because, oh, actually before we do that, no, we're, we're a little while off. This is a nice one because that gives us renown as well and it's close. They changed their level scaling. The mobs are five levels high, higher than you right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't be here, Spork. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were eight levels higher than us at some stage. So. By endgame, you'll be swimming in so much silver ore, you won't care. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it was never a problem on the Sorceress. I just dismantled everything for, for the play, for the story. And then after the story, I just sold everything. And, like, I was never strapped for resources. But I think, I think in this playthrough, because it's hardcore, I've been, like, changing gear and upgrading gear really frequently. You know, whereas with the softcore sorcerer's playthrough, I would like upgrade gear like every 10 levels, you know. But this, I've been doing it super frequently. Just to make sure we're kind of topped up. Which just chews through so many resources. Okay. Eyes are starting to get fuzzy and I'm walking into walls. That happened to me yesterday, infantry. Yeah. That's, um... That's actually the reason why I went to get glasses originally. Because this thing happened with my vision where everything would just go blurry for like sometimes like an hour or so. And I couldn't like see. I couldn't like see properly. And like everything was fuzzy. Um, and it's because the muscles in my eyes were just like spazzing out because like I... I needed long-range glasses, and I was just sitting in lecture theatres all day, 
just like with my eyes kind of squinting without knowing it. Uh, but that happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, gearing up this character. Because <laughs> I was like, must get back to level 45. <laughs> so I was like playing hardcore and I literally couldn't see like half of the screen. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Not healthy. <laughs> Not healthy. But, you know, the sacrifices. Sacrifices we make to uh, make arbitrary progress in a video game. Is gold mine? <laughs> Off to bed though, good luck, stay safe. Oh, thanks for tuning in, man. Sleep well, dude. Always a, a delight having you here. And congrats on the Griffins. Outrageous. Outrageous find. Your eyeballs are screaming ab abuse. Literally, it's just like they're just like throw it in the towel. That's what, like, that's what the, um, the, uh, doctor was saying. It's just, they're just like, now, fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm sick of focusing. I'm not focusing on anything. Just need to relax for a minute. <laughs> Careful, I'll file for divorce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully the, um, the, the muscles on my left and right eyeball stay on good terms. Or else that could get disastrous, you know? Be all cross-eyed. How would I play games then? Ooh, power point. Nice. Forgot about those. Alright, beautiful, 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 beautiful. So obviously we're just fanging it over here. Like 20% damage is 20% damage. Um, and that we need Intel, which we've already got. We've already got that one on Intel. So I assume strength is just better than dex. Probably. Probably. Armor or crit chance. I think we go armor. Oh, we get Glyph Socket as well. Do you have a plus p prescription? Uh, plus... I've got, I've got glasses. Yeah, for like long range. Uh, and I also have a PlayStation Plus subscription, I think. Except I, I cancelled the carryover, so it doesn't carry over till next year, it shouldn't. Well, it shouldn't, in theory. <clears throat> I don't have, like, a short-sighted, like, close-range glasses, though. I don't think I need them. Oh, what's the long-term goal for this build? So, the goal, my goal is just to beat Elias. So, the tier 70 capstone. Like, the level 70 capstone. Um, but as far as upgrades that we need to for the build, there are, like, heaps of different aspects that would be amazing for us. One of the biggest ones that I'm really hoping we find is the Aftershock aspect, which gives out us a double landslide. Um, and there are also really good ones for our companion as well. Like, just straight up bonus companions. And then someone was saying, like, you can get werewolves as well for your companions, which I I need that. Um, I need that on a personal level, you know. The build doesn't need that, but I need that. Uh, but I think the biggest one is the double landslide. Yeah, so what we yeah, so what I've been doing with gambles is just getting just gambling off hands every single time to, to try and hunt for the aftershock. Because it's only forty obolos to, to gamble the offhand. And in offhand you can only get the 
the offensive aspects. Um, no luck just yet, though. I think we only have 80 Obolos now. So two gambles. Oh, you got number 100! Oh, thanks so much for um, dropping likes on the stream, bros. As you all have heard a million fucking times before, it, it really does help the, um, the YouTube overlords. Obviously. Susan just blessed the stream. Thank you, Master Susan. <laughs> yeah, Supreme Overlord Susan. <laughs> Even though she's retired now, right? It's some new guy, I think. Yeah. Some new dude. You're trying to sweet talk the dry into picking up the slack. <laughs> if anyone could pull off sweet talking in inan inanimate object bubbles, it's you. If you can't do it, then that makes it literally impossible. Oh no! Curse, curse a shrine. Well, at least we get obolos, I think. We might have uh, rewards to claim as well. Like a reward that might mean that we get 3% more experience. I'll have to double check when it's safe. Oh, nice ring! You've been known to romance a toaster or two back in, <laughs> back in your day. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's the most, uh, I think that's the most sane statement that I've ever heard you say. <laughs> the most easily comprehensible statement. Alright, sentry. Let's do it. Wait, come on. Okay, he's got the lightning he's got the lightning one that I really need to be care of. Be careful of. It's like the lightning bolt. Oh, man. Oh, sacred axe! Sacred axe. Crit strikes with shred. Ah, oh, damn. 657. Willpower, crit strike damage. Damage just slowed is nice. Damage with werewolf. I think that's a dismantle. Uh, that's a dismantle too. Okay, so that sentinel statue, we killed that fine, but that was, I was, I was too hasty then. That was, that was dangerous, that could have gone wrong. We weren't punished, but I went in too gung-ho then. There's too gung-ho. Need to be a little bit more methodical for the next two. Just like, think of that risky to bisky ratio, you know what I mean? Yeah, 
yeah, definitely dismantling that axe. We'll get two of the um, two of the yellow dismantle material that we really need. Just gotta do a quick, quick energy drink jump up. <laughs> Just a quick pouring ASMR stream. All right, let's go. All right, more methodical with this one. Don't need to be hasty little hobbits. Okay, wait, wait for the poison until the elite's there. There he is. Okay, perfect. Man, our DPS is going to go up so much the second we actually... Oh, gloves! Nice! Ah, uh, Shred again. While dashing, Shred seeks out nearby poison enemies, instantly dealing 80% of the poison damage to them. That seems like it could be really good. Two to Pulverize, two to Lightning Storm, one to Shred. Another Dismantle. We're, our power is going to jump so much once we can put aspects on all of this stuff. Never played Salsa Bob. Uh, what do you guys recommend in Season 1? Depends how... How deep do you plan on going, Burns? Because I think if you're planning on going to, like, level 75, then I find Sorcerer is really fun. But if you're planning on going further than 75, I think Sorcerer is, is, like, struggling a little bit to push... to push, like, late-game Nightmare Dungeons. But Sorceress during the playthrough is just, like, wicked fun. Get the bow. Probably around 75 Source it is. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with Source. I was playing through... I was playing through just a little bit, um... Just a, bit, a little bit with Sorceress just the day before, uh, the day before season launch. And like an Arclash Chain Lightning build just to start, just for like a chunk of the playthrough, was really fun and really strong. And then like later on you could like respec into something else. But um, yeah, Arclash Chain Lightning for the playthrough was awesome. They'll be buffing Source soon too. Yeah, like a week after their next campfire or something, right? Which is in like 10 days or something. Like 10 days till the buff. Have I got that right? Oop. Currently doing a single player modded Diablo 2 run. Your videos have been a ton of fun to watch. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you enjoy them, man. Best of luck with your run. All right, that should be fine. <clears throat> Just killed 89 Butcher at level 78. Hell yeah, man. Which, uh, which class fish? Wait, I got to dial in for a second fish. So this guy should be fine. We just got to watch out for specifically one attack where he makes all of his circles explode. So we just got to peel out when he does that because that could one shot us if we're in the wrong place. I think I know what it looks like. That, 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 that. Okay, we gotta be away from everything. The bones explode, okay. The bones explode. Okay. If we were in the wrong spot there, that's a one shot. Genuinely. There it is again. Got him. Got him, boys. Sacreds! Sacred axe. Nice. 
Alright, we can go Whispers now. Summon Necro? Sweet. Summon Necro with, um, with Bone Spear Fishy? The ultimate for me would be a do to do a Holy Grail run in Hardcore Diablo 2. It feels so awesome to have uh, a GG character in single player D2. Yeah, that would be so sick. Hardcore Grailer. Hardcore Grail completed. Hopefully we get a legendary one here. Um, I want that superpower <laughs> to explode people's bones. <laughs> Metaphorically or literally? Blood spear, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I think we go chest plates. No sacreds again? That's just so so underwhelming. <laughs> but we got a uh, we got a glyph. So we go willpower. We got this. For every dex purchased, for every five dex purchased within range, you deal 2% increased crit strike damage. Um, critical, criti critical strikes increase the damage an enemy takes from you by 2% for 20 seconds. Okay, that's pretty hot glyph. There's a little bit of decks around, not a massive amount. But let's dismantle. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, baneful fragments. Need those. Yeah, need lots of those. And let's see. I don't think we have enough Baneful Fragments to put on an Aspect yet. Alright, what's next, lads? Oh. That's in Keji. We're close to getting that. Bonus experience. So maybe we do that. Go for uh, third times a charm with the with the whispers. We'll get lots of renown for that as well. I don't think you can get sacred from Abolos either. Surely we could. Uh, surely we could gamble sacred, right? Right? Surely. There's some sort of level restriction on it. All right, so we might not be able to get it right now. Just died to the butcher at level 15. <laughs> that's such shit luck, man. Souls got decimated. Yeah, dude, that's that's such bad luck. Wait, let's do this. Want, I want to put the aspect where we get increased basic basic attack attack speed on because right now it's like not about the damage from the basic attack it's about the spirit generation from the basic attack 
You know what I'm saying? Okay, wait. We gotta really watch out for this guy. He's got the fire. Okay. Oh, man. This is getting dicey quick. Stick him, lads. Got the creeper on. Nice. Gotta pick off. Fire guy's still there, though. There he is. Got him, lads. Ugh. You yeeted on out of it. How many we get? Beautiful. 59. And... Sacred Two-Hander. Don't want these because their attack speed is too slow. so satisfying. That will never not be satisfying. Just clearing out a whole screen of enemies with one with one poison creeper. How many hardballed eggs can I fit in my mouth, fellas? Wait, 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 wait. I need, I need you to be outline the conditions. Because are the hardballed eggs retaining their shape? Or are you going to mush them, like, into a mush? Because I think you can fit four in. I think you can fit four in. Yeah. Shape, but no shells. Yeah, I still think four. I still think four. Yeah. Anyone else and I would have said three, but you've got a big mouth, Bubbles. Um, I think breaking them up might take up more space. <laughs> that logic makes no sense. <laughs> Gotta be scientific. <laughs> I know from experience I can hit at least two huevos in my mouth. <laughs> Um, wait, let's just gamble what we have and then we'll do this dungeon. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, here. Yeah, I know. We just never hear from Bubbles ever again. <laughs> And that was the last anybody, anyone, anyone ever heard from him. <laughs> oh shit! Challenge accepted. Prepare to die. <laughs> yeah, prepare to die. Eggs, right? Uh, okay, we want this totem. Hey, we got one! Come on, aftershock! Oh. Crit strikes with core skills increase attack speed by 24%. And we crit strike with our core all the time because of our glorious terror motes, if you recall. Our terror motes. Gives us guaranteed crit strike chance under certain conditions. It's kind of hot to trot. I think we extract that one because that's a good roll too. As much as we need the materials, I think that's an extraction. What a way to go, <laughs> yeah. It was the way he wanted to go. <laughs> yep, 
You don't have all your spirit boons? Don't we? Do we not? Oh! Oh! Why haven't I activated the other one? Wait, we gotta sort that out. We chose the wrong one. <laughs> That's a good pickup, man. <laughs> I swear to god we activated it. Activated the, uh, the double boon. But we want the double boon on not where we have it. No, you've, you were, you were right, Chris. Yeah, you were right, man. One of them wasn't, our double boon wasn't activated. Like, we want this one double booned. Like, here, 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 and here. In fact, they're, they've just been a complete mess. We want that one, for sure. So it's, we want the eagle, I think, yeah, 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 um, all right, let's go. Wariness on the deer path? Which one was wariness? Is the deer path the first one? Yeah, 10% DR from elites. Yeah. I was thinking about that. But it's kind of like... <sighs> the 10 spirit is for every, everywhere, you know? 10% is a lot though. I think, I think, okay, 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 okay. I think we will switch into that in a, in a little while because the way this game scales, the higher level you get, like bosses, the, the boss scaling is just so shit. But right now, like, the bosses are still hard to take down. So the extra spirit will help us with those. But once we gain a few more levels, the bosses will be easy and it's like the elites will be for sure the biggest threat. Yeah. Hopefully we just don't die to an elite before we switch. <laughs> Cause then I'll just look like a fucking schmuck. <laughs> All right, activate, release switch. Sweet. And you know what we should do? You know what we should do after this? Maybe we do a, um, try a nightmare dungeon. Because soon we'll be up able to put in that rare glyph. In fact, next point. I mean, nice to upgrade that. Upgrade that a smidge. Trying to kill solo ubers in solo self found. Mini ubers in solo self found. Um, tried with an up rib cracker on Fury, Fury Druid and got completely wrecked. Uh, is it possible to kill them with a smiter without grief? Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah, with the smiter, you actually don't need good gear at all. You basically just need life tap, crushing blow. And open wounds. And then you're good to go with a smiter. And resistances. Um, and you... With your druid, if you had... Um, those three things as well. It, it'll be a lot harder, but you should be able to pull it off. Yeah. You have the hoz. Hoz will help you out heaps. Yeah, you'll get massive resistances from Hoz. Yeah. So what you what I what what you could do is you could have the Hoz as your shield, get massive resistances. Then on switch, 
you can vendor a life tap wand um, and then you can craft a black rune word which is super duper cheap it's just low runes which gives you crushing blow and then you could craft a blood belt which um, I don't know the recipe off the top of my head but you need like a you need like a perfect ruby for it and that will give you a source of open wounds and then uh, and then you should be good to go yeah you should be good to go once you got all those things still haven't died yet <laughs> was hoping to see D2 by now <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm so excited to try the no healing run on D2. So we're gonna do that at some some point for sure, like some sometime soon. Yeah. Like if we if this character dies, and th then we'll we'll do that. And um, if we beat Elias, then that's then we'll probably jump over to. Jump over and try that run. Like, not today, but a different day. Alright, what do we need here? We need release switches. Congrats with the Hoz on uh, Solo Self Found, by the way. Sweet find. Yeah, you, know, you just need the keys again, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I do not feel safe here. I must wait a moment. What class would you want them to add? I... I'm just boring. I would love a paladin type class. Yeah. Just a holy... A holy sh sword and shield, bro. Yeah. That's that's for sure what I'd want them to add. Oh, oh man, just fucking tank that one, dude. Which is good because they're probably gonna add it at some stage. Have you ever tried to make the strongest merc possible? I'm sure it's game clearing. I've just never tried in all my years of wise wandering. I haven't, dude. I would, I, it kills me to give up a lem rune for my merc, you know? I'm such a stinge when it comes to giving good stuff to the murky boy. Um, yeah. Let alone giving up high runes to a merc. Ugh, the thought makes me shudder. Not a crusader or a paladin. The difference is just lore, right? Oh, ring, nice. It would be a pallid, pally though, right? Because they did crusader in D3. I feel like if they were to add one, it would definitely be a pally. But for me, it's like, there's, there's no difference. For a filthy casual like me. Filthy law casual. Uh, beautiful. We can go here now. Uh, let's just quickly look here. I think we just put that there. It's giving us no bonuses right now. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. You <laughs> damn, you're treating your mercs like you bought them or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm treating them like property. <laughs> like a pet. Like a pet that you don't actually love. That's remarkably replaceable. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't realize we were so low on pods. Dude, Ryan coming in clutch, bro. Although now we've got two, so we're fine, Ryan. <laughs> Good fucking look it out, dude. I did not notice that at all. Like a turtle. <laughs> yeah, fuck turtles. <laughs> yeah. Teleroth rising up. Rising up at this, um... At these, uh... Fighting words being thrown towards, uh... Emilios. The Emilios of the world. Ooh, tribal staff. Oh, slay all enemies in here. Okay. Yes, queen. All crus wait, all crusaders are paladins, not all paladins are crusaders. Okay. Schmucks to Merc, shut up and wear infinity, that's all you're good for. <laughs> Not even, dude. I don't even give them infinity. They just get insight, cure, and... Just because it's a nuisance, paying money to re resurrect them, a treachery. That's right. I give them a mid rune, so... Tell that to the EPF. Get out. Ooh, that was a double whammy. That probably would have killed us if we were in that. Kilo enemies' objectives are going to get annoying when they increase nightmare density. Ah, uh, I, I already think they're annoying. I just, to me, Ryan, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just like, why can you not just change it to kill 95%? Or like kill 90% it just makes a world of difference like it honestly just makes a world of difference just change it to kill 90% cuz it's just it's just annoying like having an objective that uh, alters the way you play so much and not in a fun way. Even if it was 80%. Yeah, exactly, dude. Let me play the way I want to play. Yeah, exactly. I think 80% would even be better. Because it's like... You, you, you want to just jump from mob to densi high density mob to high density mob, right? And if there's like a straggler, you don't want to run back and kill the straggler. And it's like, surely coding that is easy, right? Surely it's just, you just change a couple of numbers around. And it's like, doesn't everybody want that? I feel like everyone wants that. It's such low hanging fruit for them. I just don't understand. I do, I do like that they're increasing density, though. I really like that they're increasing density. Ooh! Another glyph. What are this? Bonus to all rare nodes within range. Oh, this one. I see. Agree, density in increases a good change. Oh, that's useful. <laughs> oh, we did it already. Cool. Very minimal backtracking that time. What boss is this? 
for this guy. Let's go, boys. Darlin, Darlin. Oh, that that's what killed me. That's what killed. That's what killed Sparky Seven. That's what killed Sparky Seven. I was in that in a stronghold boss, and I saw it coming, and I chose not to get out of the mechanic. Let me say. Let me let me repeat that. I was on hardcore. I saw the mechanic chat coming, and I chose not to get out of it. Isn't that just the fucking dumbest thing you've ever heard? It's like so dumb. I chose not to get out. Cause I was like, cause I was like in such a rush to get back, get, get back the progress that I lost from Sparky 6, that we lost from Sparky 6, that I was like, oh no, this will save me like two seconds killing this boss. I'll just pop a bulwark, it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. So dumb. I was so mad at myself after that. <laughs> I was so mad. So tired and so mad. Imagine if we died to that mechanic again. Nice. Good renown. Good renown. Five whispers. And good stuff for um for breaking down. That is a lot of good. Yeah, exactly, Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just had a progress bar and you just killed enemies until the bar filled up. Yeah. Yeah, and there's there's way more more than enough enemies to fill the bar, Corey. That's exactly what it should be. In fact, they should hire you. Yeah. Because then you're just like jumping from high density mob to high density mob. Just to do it the most efficiently. Yeah. That's exactly what it should be, Corey. Found your first pair of Mage Fits ever. Congrats, man. Such a useful um, set of gloves. Really useful. One to Ravens. No. Our helm is super low level, but it's like nice. Companion skill damage, storm, storm skill. No. Kind of don't want... It just has to be sacred for us to even consider. No. That's too slow. Too slow. Not sacred. What the frick? We're meant to be wearing that. Oh, wait, that's got it on naturally. Oh, oh. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Because we can extract this. We've been using the shepherds from... We've been using the shepherds from the dungeon, but this we found it naturally. So that's really good. Okay, I think we extract both of those. Um, definitely extract both of those. Poison damage as well. Uh, yeah. The poison damage, poison damage to poison enemies is really nice. But I think... Ooh, that's really nice too. I think we extract it. Because the rest of the rig isn't amazing. Damage to CC. Hmm. I think we extract. Oh. I think we extract. Because we want this mod. We want the Shepherd's mod on the amulet. Because it'll be higher on the amulet. Noob question, should I sell or disenchant items that you find? No, nah, that's that's a completely reasonable question, dude. Uh, I think, like, from roughly speaking, depending on how frequently you're changing and upgrading your gear, I would dismantle everything up until, like, level 50. And then there'll come a point in time 
where you just are good with materials and then you want to sell everything. So dismantle everything early mid game, sell everything late game is a loose rule of thumb. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to save for better Ami. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because this isn't even sacred yet. But hopefully we can pop... I guess we could put it on the weapon. But we're so far off being able to put that there. But maybe we can put stuff on other... On like our pants, for example. DR, we've got that on the helm. No. Alright. What I say we we're gonna do? We do only need four more whispers. So maybe we should just do those. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> uh what's a good way to do that? Uh we would already have progress towards this. I think we already have progress. So maybe on the way there, we'll finish it off. And then we can just do a cellar or something. Yeah, Swizz, that's such a sick idea. Yeah. Could have the souls of mobs you kill swirl around you. And when it gets dense enough, the boss summons. Yeah, or fucking... Yeah, have the souls of the monsters you kill form the boss, you know? Just like an amalgamation of all of these screaming souls. Like, come together into this giant fucking soul monster. And then, like, when you bash him with an attack, then, like, you see all of these little baby skulls, like, souls, like, scatter out and stuff. And then, like, if he heals, like, he, like, souls, like come back in and then he grows bigger or something that's a sick idea dude that's what's like uh, i said this so many times before it's just like uh, diablo 4 is there's so much potential there you know it's just <laughs> i feel like it just needed another year with it just needed another year with a team that loves it, you know? With a team that was really invested in making a sick game. Oh, Ethereal Andes, man! Dude! Alright, tell me the roll. Jimbo, F Andes. What a roll on the lifesteal, most importantly. Such a sick drop, Ethere Ethereal Andes. Alright, how many of these? I didn't see what the... Is that not going up? Oh, we've already got it. Oh, we've already got it. Dude. Fuck yeah, dude. We are the team. <laughs> We're the beta team. The beta squad. <laughs> Okay, three elites here. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, only two elites. Okay, we really got to be careful of that fire. In fact, you know what I think we should do? Since we can't make the feigned deaths, because we don't have the beast boners yet, it's probably prudent to have a fire elixir popped. Because I'm re actually really scared of dying to that. Okay, that's that. So we, now we just need one more. Um, what's the best way to get one? Uh, is there a cellar? Yes, we'll do that. Yeah, 50! Yes. Been, uh, I've been grinding the <laughs> past 24 hours. 
Oh no, 8% on the live Jimbo. Bad luck, man. Bad luck, but sick find all the same. Yeah. So when are you gonna paint my life? <laughs> That'd be freaking huge. Whiskers carry over, yeah. They do, but just like impatient old me just wants to um wants that cash ASAP. Have you slapped in some butcher slapped you? <laughs> well that was a combined effort of the butcher slapping me and me slapping my myself. Hitting this button instead of this button. <laughs> uh, what actually happened is I slept for 40 minutes after that and I couldn't sleep. Like I couldn't sleep longer. I woke up and I just could not go back to sleep because I was just thinking about it. I, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And so I made a new character. I made Sparky 7, got Sparky 7 to level 35 and then I died again. And, and now we're on Sparky 8, so. <laughs> I haven't slept much, but I have slept. But your team banged him. It was an inside job. It was an inside job. Butcher up in those dreams. Ah, oh, fresh meat. Yeah. What do you do in hardcore when the butcher shows up and you can't kill? What you should do is pop a scroll of escape. That's what you should do. Yeah. You shouldn't quit out because that'll kill you. Don't ask me how I know that. But yeah, scroll of escape. It's instant. I didn't realize it was instant. I thought it'd be like summoning a TP, but it's just boop, you're out. Which is crazy. Ah, oh, none again. Okay, we want weapons for offensive aspects. If we get... No, not even any sacreds, dudes. I think we got straight up schemazzed there. Straight up schemazzed. Should we try... A, uh, Nightmare Dungeon? <laughs> so what is this? That's got Stormbanes. No, I hate that one. I hate the Lightning Storm. Gouts of Flame periodic erupt new players. I hate all of these. I don't want to do any of those. <laughs> Definitely no. I don't want to do any of those. I think that's a sign from the universe. Let's see how close we are. Okay, what we should probably do is we should probably work towards getting that Dry Steps Renown. Because 4 Paragon is just so... Unbelievably buff. Like, insanely buff. Oh, there's lots to be had over here. Oh, but that's Scuzzy. Alright, let's do that one. I think that's just cashing one in, too. Hey, Ark, welcome to the stream. Yeah, doing well. Doing well. Don't mess up this character due to a lack of sleep. Yeah. Well, that's a lesson we learned from Sparky 7. Yeah. Each Sparky is a lesson. Some of them were repeat lessons. Some of them were the same lesson. But, um... I, uh, I think we want to go towards here. Even though it means we lose out on... We might just get that dex later. But I think we just go up there. Yeah. Because we're going to replace that glyph. That's... I don't think that's the glyph we want there. So 8 is next. No, this is 8. <laughs> this is 8. <laughs> 
Yeah. It was an off-stream death. Yeah, if you run far enough away, he despawns if you don't have scroll of escape. Yeah. Escape. I should look up between this and the next stream. I should look up uh, where to farm beast bones. The dead rejoin the ah, can't skip. Oh, that's so annoying, Chris. <laughs> Kick the treasure goblin into a wall. He instantly despawned. He got vaporized. <laughs> yeah, kicked him into a new, into a new dimension. Yeah. Yeah, Wisp with suck in your opinion? Yeah, they're definitely not a late game thing that I prioritize at all. But I think now just like they're kind of good because we're like picking them up as we're doing other things wait that wasn't cashing it in okay let's go there Not while I'm in town. but just spawned on you the first time Right after you jumped across the terrain, you immediately jump back across. Yeah. <laughs> he can't jump. <laughs> yeah, it must be white or something. Um, yeah, that happened to us. I climbed up a cliff and he couldn't come up. Yeah. I guess we do this world event since we're here. What's this one? Slay all enemies. Can do. Just going ham on our wolf. Jesus Christ. Okay, there it is. Just out of range of that. Yeah, get him, Raven. Stick him. I really quite like the, these, this world. This world event. Because you don't wait for anything in this world event. It's just like, kill all the enemies. There's like very little backtracking with the map layout, if any. And then you just kill the elite guy in the middle. It's probably one of my favorite worldies, I'd say. He is. Okay, he's got the flames. He's got the flames. He had the flames. Sacreds. Yes, double sacred. Double sacred. And a ruby. That's really good too. Um, Two-hander. Two to lightning storm. Damn. I want to keep these for a while. Just because they've got a really good imprinted aspect. And uh, to the landslide. Alright. Sorry. Is the Poison Creeper Stone Spiral a seasonal thing? Yeah, that's my understanding. Yeah, it's seasonal aspect. Oh, wait, this one's glitched. Oh, no. Wait, hopefully it doesn't glitch out again. It glitched out on us last time, this barrier. These, like, these people didn't walk.
Oh, I don't know. You should have seen that barrier. Oh no. Yeah, glitched again. Fucking hell. That's just not good enough, is it? The fact that that's still an issue, it's just not good enough. That's been that like that since launch, yeah? Damn. <laughs> well, at least we did the world event. Um, let's forget about that one. Acquire oppressor horns. Yeah. This isn't D2R, no. <laughs> that would have never happened in D2R. <laughs> Probably because in D2R there's only... They only need to stay on top of like 25 quests or something. <laughs> Yo, Nimble, what's up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Wait, these exploding guys, we gotta be so careful of Nimble. They almost ruined our day. Ruined our day and the druid's life earlier in the stream. That was one of the closest we've gotten to death. Oh, another one, nice. Oh yeah, this one I like as well. This is another one of my favorite ones. Just being so spoiled with these world events. Get out. Okay, we just need Need that CC on the Poison Creeper. One down. We want to kill them in that little overlapping area. I assume that means it counts for both circles. I don't actually know. Let's go over here, Wolfies. Come, come. Okay. That's close enough. Got him. Beautiful. Ah, no sacreds. Sometimes I feel like nothing's sacred anymore. Just one oppressor horn. Okay, that's an oppressor. Nope. Oh, this is an oppressor, right. These big daddies. Nope. Oh, they're overseer, the little guys. The little big guys are overseers. There we go. Now we need to go over there. <laughs> 2 a.m. gaming, you know. Happy to see some schmuck action. <laughs> Happy to keep you company, Nimble. Hell yeah. I love... I love the 2am grind. Um... No. No, no, no. Okay, let's get rolling. Okay, beautiful. 20 Renown is delightful. Just 
So we grinded towards that 600. Whoop, wrong one. Oh, Marco's here as well. What's up, dudes? <sighs> Welcome to the stream, homies. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yeah, we're going good, man. We're going good. I mean, just like in life, as long as you're still breathing, <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So we um, we did the capstone, and we're into World Tier Three, and we're like in a period of like rapid, rapid upgrades, which is always immensely satisfying. Although the big thing we're we're lacking now is we need wait silver quartz is like the clickables, aren't they? The big thing we need now is we need to find more crafting materials, specifically like legendaries to disenchant would be really good so we can add more aspects onto our gear like legendary weapons whoa 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 that was straight up complacency God damn. These guys do a lot of damage if you just run in like an idiot. We should check up on um, the beast bones too. See if we picked up, picked up any by accident. Or without realizing. It's the beast bones. Oh, we got three? Okay, that means we found one. <laughs> Eep. No, escape, 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 escape. I had no potions. I had no potions. <laughs> if we didn't have Bulwark then, we would have been dead. I didn't realize we had no pots. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was so reckless. Alright, bros. On that note, I might actually leave it here for the stream today. So, a bit of a shorter stream. Thanks so much for tuning in. But, it's 2am here. And I need to make it to the gym for, um, for, my, uh, for my noggin. Or else I just go a little bit crazy. Even more crazy than normal. Yeah. And by crazy, I mean immensely sad. But uh, we achieved everything we wanted to achieve for the stream. We did the capstone. We got into Paragon. And now is the period of, uh, of rapid growth. So hopefully, hopefully we can pull off the, uh, pull off the dream. And the dream is this character beating the, se the uh, level 70 capstone. But we'll see. <laughs> live to die to uh, die, live to die another day exactly <laughs> exactly like uh mr bond himself yeah all right th th thank you so much for tuning in guys always always lovely having you here and i'm so sorry nimble you just joined and marco you just joined and i'm leaving you hanging yeah all right take care guys all the best <laughs>